Are we up in this mother trucker? I, 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 I think. Chat, are we up in this mother Hello? trucker? Am I visible? Am I on the visible spectrum? Oh man, I was. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's frozen. Aww. I'm Don't not lie. frozen. Naughty, were you in the movie Frozen? Do you want to blow a snowman? Is that the song? Oh, wait, 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 that's not how that song goes. Wait, wait a second. I think I was in the adaptation. Sorry, what? Whoa. Naughty, what are you watching in your spare time? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so, um, as you can see, this is going to be a very wholesome podcast we have here today. Isn't that right, Melody? Oh my god, if I had a nickel for how much wholesomeness this would be, it would be at least two nickels. That's quite a lot for <laughs> someone who picks pennies up off the floor, aka me. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> have, you, have you ever encountered a situation where someone super glued a penny to the ground? No, I I don't think I have. Really? I, have you? Oh god, like twice. Like twice. And it makes you feel like an idiot. Like, surely I can do this. What are the circumstances of your life? And better yet, how did you try to get the penny off the floor? Well, the first one I kept trying to like kick it and that didn't work and I'm like more force is necessary and both times I got down on my hands and knees jabbing at it with a credit card with my fingers with my shoes and each time I'm I, it took me like 20 minutes and I'm like wait a minute super glue <laughs> and I have to walk away. <laughs> it sounds like an epic episode of SpongeBob. <laughs> Holy moly. I do remember now, once upon a time, I found a quarter on the floor. I tried to pick that junk off, but I couldn't. It was stuck. And after ripping at it and tearing at the corners for a couple minutes, I found a black tar-like substance underneath it. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what it was, but I salvaged that quarter, probably cleaned it off and spent it on a gumball. But in retrospect, I realized that was someone's chewed up bubble gum stuck underneath a quarter. <laughs> it's just like one of those memories where it's just like, wow, what was I doing back then? I was scraping bubblegum off the sidewalk for another gumball. Bro, it's okay. We all do stupid stuff when we're kids. When I was a little floppy disk, apparently I would eat cigarette butts out of the ashtrays at movie theaters. <laughs> what? <laughs> I confess to picking up a quarter. You confess to eating asbestos. What am I? <laughs> what? <laughs> My God. Okay. I actually have a story too. When I was a, when I was a young and too, a young whelp, you know, I uh whatever the frick of foxes. Uh, <laughs> I went to a restaurant and they had like fancy, you know, plastic cups that were like translucent and see through. Very tall. They would stack them with ice and water. It was super sick. But for me, I was a small young child. So they gave me a little styrofoam cup. And I said, what drink do you want to fill in? I said, milk, because always milk. It had to be milk. Happy milk. So I had my cup of milk on the table. I was living my best life. <laughs> and I had an idea in my head, you know? I saw people eating with chopsticks because it was a Japanese restaurant. And I wanted to do that too. Only I didn't have chopsticks. I only had a straw. So I had the brilliant idea of taking my straw. I don't know how this logical connection worked. The synapses in my brain were working overtime for this one. I took my straw and I jammed it to the bottom of the styrofoam cup and punctured straight through it. I could have been a nurse giving a COVID vaccine, but instead I was injecting my table with milk. So that junk poured out literally, literally everywhere. And I got in so much effing trouble for that junk. But the thing is, they were very stupid. They brought me another star from Cup of Milk. No. And as we all know, no. history is doomed to repeat itself. No. I'm a child with the memory of a goldfish. I forgot what I did five minutes earlier and the pain and repudiation that came with it. <laughs> so I took that every straw. I was like, yeah, yeek. <laughs> Like Thor striking the final blow on Thanos, and that milk went everywhere all over again. <laughs> dude, they, they're just as dumb as you, though. They gave you another cup, dude. Yeah, tell me about it. I yeah. compelled so, you. <laughs> after that, they gave me the adult cup. So victory, you know, GG easy, chicken royale or whatever the frick. And then I had to sit on my hands for like the next <gasps> 20 minutes. See, that's <laughs> when you take the cup and you just like throw it back and then like do something. <laughs> <laughs> like a monkey at a zoo. Yeah! 
<laughs> Have you seen those videos? The monkeys, they pick up their poop and just throw it at people staring at them. <laughs> I, I hate that it's funny. It's gross. It shouldn't be funny. Flash thing out. <laughs> oh, God. That's the worst flash. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Speaking of throwing shit at strangers, everyone, welcome to Lucas Podcast. My apologies. <laughs> Wait, we're live. That's crazy. I forgot to introduce Goddamn. I'll do it. Okay, I, I feel it. I'm cringe. Hi, I'm Melody. I'm. No, I'm. I yeah. Would you say I'm cringe? <sighs> Melody. Yes. How could I call you cringe? If by the end of this podcast, I'm going to propose to you. You're gonna propose to someone who ate cigarettes? Well, the standards are quite low for V2. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, wait. <laughs> Are you trying to imply something that VTubers have a commonality of being, um, interesting brained? I feel like, let me just put it this way. If they asked the age old question of how many VTubers it takes to screw in a light bulb, I think we'd still be wondering. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. You know, that's my life. That's what I signed up for. I lose brain cells every day, and I couldn't be happier about it, you know? Fair, fair. Living your best life. Living your best life. Living your best life. <laughs> Everyone, we are living our best life. This, in case you don't know, which would surprise the hell out of me, this is Fillion. Fillion VT on on YouTube and and also here in Fillion is Lost on on Twitter. That's me. Which which is <laughs> fair because if if I'm gonna find a, a little lost creature, I would assume it's Fillion. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you uh, you you expect to go outside. Like, here's the situation, right? Bring it, bring Say, it, bring it. Say hypothetically, you walk out to the fruit snack factory. You're like, I want to mm. get some well, just fruit snacks, you know? You see a cardboard box that's been rained on like for the past few months. Oh. You open that bad boy up, you find a feral VTuber in it. That's me. <laughs> I'm Courage the Cowardly Dog of VTubers. And you're my Muriel. What? <laughs> Is it because I have glasses? Wait, is it? Hmm. My hair is kind of wavy. Big chest. Oh yeah, definitely. That's me. <laughs> big, old, me big old, big old, big chest, Melly. That's what they call me. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen my chest. You can confirm how large it is, right? 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 I mean, compared to mine, it's like Pluto compared to the Earth. I mean, they're both small in the span of the sun, but you know, it's still quite a big difference. Oh, shit. Okay, you got me there. <laughs> it's a beautiful astronomical comparison. Fillion is a chihuahua confirmed. Oh, shit. What? Was Kurt oh, a okay, chihuahua? I don't know. Is it's he like a chihuahua? A purple... I don't know. A little <laughs> purple chihuahua. It looks like something that crawled out of Chernobyl, if I'm being honest. But, I mean, it's like a purple dog with black spots on it. I don't know. Dude, I'm gonna be real. That show, like, traumatizing. Yeah, actually true. I <laughs> I remember there's this one episode where they're like eating like some dessert. I didn't know what the dessert was called, but apparently it was some fancy thing called flan. Dossi Never flan. heard of in my life. Yeah, but they kept looking at the screen and they're like, flan, tassi flan. Flan, tassi flan. And I was just sitting there like, what in the Dr. Eggman is this? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like they're taking over my body. Yeah, it was Dude, really effing creepy. Yes, it was horrible. After the puddle one, I was like, I was like to my motherboard, I'm like, hey, I think I should talk to a doctor. I'm scared a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I just, that's like one of those things where it's just like, man, maybe I shouldn't have turned on the TV this morning. Maybe waking up for Sunday to watch Pokemon at 7 in the morning and wake up my parents isn't worth it, you know? <laughs> Not worth it. I mean, for Sailor Moon, it'd be worth it. But Courage, though, that's staying up late. That's like midnight plus for a child. Actually true. Melody, have you had this experience before? Okay. So... A long time ago, right, there's this thing called Adult Swim. I don't know if it's still going on, but this is almost a universal shared experience that you would wake up at about 10 p.m. or 11 or maybe like 2 in the morning and you would have your TV on because you left it on while you fell asleep. Mm -hmm. And this channel called Adult Swim would be on and you would see the most fever dream heavy thing you've ever seen in your life. They'll be like a talking meatball next to some superhero in spandex. And they'll just be talking about how like, I don't know, man, they just like 
robbed a jewelry store for five bucks and then like someone gave him a hickey. You know, it's like, it's just like you just wonder what's going on the entire time. Have you, have you ever had that experience before? I, 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 I loathe 95%. Of adult swim it's definitely still around i regret all of the seconds of my life i wasted on like tim and eric or something and robot chicken <laughs> loathe loathe <laughs> you know you know yes. speaking of it i can't all hit on adult swim because adult swim was my first exposure to anime i, I think was without killing. adult swim i might have not have been the vtuber i am today well i thought wouldn't you don't you mean toonami Oh, I guess yeah, Toonami came on right before Adult Swim. But also, Adult Swim has, like, American cartoons on it that are borderline anime, too. Oh, shit. Wait, which I'm trying to remember. I don't know. I don't know. What oh. happened Meatball Show? Uh, somebody uh, knows what Junk's Aquatina called. Aquatine Hunger it called? Force. Venture Bros. <laughs> the Meatball is Aquatine. I just watched it, actually. Aquatine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it's called. I never knew what that show was called. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. That's... That's the kind of, that's the, that, the aqua teen, I feel like can only be appreciated by absolute dorks or people that, um, you know, they, 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 they wear those like itchy hoodies and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just an actual fever dream. I've never watched a full episode of it. So in my mind, it's just like one of those things that sort of pops in. I'm like, that was a weird thought. And then it just disappears after that. Yeah, that's 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 fair. But people are saying in here, Venture Brothers, uh, Venture Brothers was an amazing show, and I I I, I hope there's more of it. I hope there's a movie. <sighs> I just rewatched all of it. Wait, wow. Do you do you rewatch shows a lot? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I rewatched all of Venture and ended it two days ago. Yeah, I, I rewatch I stuff. Mm. I am so not a show rewatcher. The only thing I've rewatched in my life was like, um, Death Note, the anime, really good anime. I rewatched SAO season one. Um, and yeah, I think that's I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, <laughs> I I'm kind of like one and done with shows. How do you memorize things by heart if you don't watch it over and over and over and over and over and over again? I, I, you know, I kind of just like, if I know what's going to happen, I kind of just ADD, ADD off and just like, whoa, just fly up in the subspace after that. So I, I don't know. It's not really for me. That blows my mind. I don't understand. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm adjusting. I, <laughs> my roommate, once upon a time, she has watched The Office eight times. Ah! Do you know how long it took me to watch The Office? No. Ten years? Three years. <laughs> Three years it took me to finish that goddamn show, but god god I did it. It was like the marathon of TV for me. By the very end of the effing show, I was just slogging through it. I didn't know what was going on anymore. <laughs> dude, 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 I have such feelings about The Office. I'd only seen it in hotel rooms. That is the only time I've seen The Office is, a ho is hotel rooms. And I gotta say, I don't understand how there used to be memes like, oh, I'm such a... I don't know any of their names. I'm so oh, I'm such such a Ralph moment. I'm so Ralph or whatever. Why would you compare right. to any of them? They all suck. And Kevin, wait. What? All the characters, none of them are likable. But but you like you you like the show, right? God no. What? Melody. What? I gotta go. What? What? The, the show was really good. Come on. I don't understand. Lately, the 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 man. I'm saying the owner. The manager was like the worst person. Like, oh my god, he had yeah, no but boundaries. Yeah, you see him do and... parkour in that one episode. That was sick. <sighs> okay, maybe, but like, thank you, Mel. Hate the office. Well, I guess we're the only ones. I need to write someone right now and ask Locked if I can tell. Guy. I have a Dwight story. I'm gonna ask if I can tell it. Okay. Hey, can I tell your Dwight story? I always seem to know someone that knows someone or has like a, an interaction with a celebrity. <laughs> Wait, so like they like they knew like the Dwight Schrute actor or they had a Dwight moment? Uh, the the actor. No way, that's actually cool as freak. Oh, they said it's cool. Okay, I have a friend who met Dwight. Apparently, he was friends with his parents and so 
They were in the middle of nowhere and apparently they got invited to go to dinner with him at his house. And he lives in the mm. middle of bumfuck nowhere where he makes Lisa. his own soap and shit and he hunts Wait, bears. He's, he's off the grid? He's off the grid. He's, he's actually Dwight IRL, bros growing yeah. epping beats and probably weed. <laughs> yes, he's literally the same person but smiles a little more, but not that much more. <laughs> He's like Homelander, where the actual Homelander character is the exact same off screen, too. What? That's so good. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, apparently, so from the boys, there's like superhero Homelander. He's a complete a-hole to literally everybody. Dude, it's it. so funny. You can no. see clips of them, like paparazzi trying to talk to him. Even the people on the show trying to talk to him. He is the exact same serial killer look behind his eyes person on and off the show, which I find very beautiful. He took method acting to a whole new level. Do you think he's just a method actor and not just an ass stupid? I mean, listen, I don't think anyone could have Homelandered better than Homelander could have, so... God, you know... <laughs> I got to, you probably uh, didn't even know he was in a show. <laughs> God, I, di I didn't! I'm like, 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 so every episode I'm like, I hate this guy, I hate this guy, and I'm like, no, 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 no! I'm impressed, what an actor, that I hate the actor, that's how well he does it. And now you're telling yeah. me, no, that's him. That's just him. God. You ain't acting. You just he just gets he wakes up in the morning on the wrong side of the bed, knocks over his coffee on the way to work, and you know, the rest is history. He doesn't need to be shitty. Why be shitty? You don't have to be. He's a New Zealander. What's that supposed to mean? Melody, someone in the chat said you think he's hot. Do I think he's hot? He's objectively hot. He's entirely symmetrical. He has nice hair and muscles and stuff, and has a deep voice. Those are all attributes of a hot person. Oh, wow, okay, okay, okay. I, Melody, if I set you up on a date with Homelander, would you go? Would I go on a date with Homelander? Not if he's yeah. gonna, like, eat my face or whatever the fuck he well, wants. Well, there's to... a 50-50 chance it's the craziest night of your life. There's also a 50-50 chance he leaves you in an alleyway. So, <laughs> well, maybe, wait, like, which the was the negative one? Sorry, what? Girl, what? <laughs> 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 All right, I'm gonna write that down for the future. Sounds good to me. Oh boy, no, I, I like nerds. I don't know, I like nerdier people. <laughs> I respect that. Holy frick! All right, you want to answer some mm -hmm. questions? I feel totally. like we haven't even started on that junk. <laughs> Those aren't mutually Come on, water. exclusive. I know, guys. I'm already, I'm already destroying her with my perversity. I apologize, guys. I'm being corrupted. Incidentally, Allie's, you know, some people like Allie's. They're one of, one of the, you know, those 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 special uh, hotel love hotels in Japan. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen those before. They, there was one that was basically set up like a gigantic pillow fort. Holy moly. I would spend the night there with somebody and just effing throw pillows at them. They'd be like, girl, what is going on? <laughs> okay, I would be all about that. Never mind. I was going to say one of them was dirty Allie themed, but I think I want to go to the pillow fort. Yeah, yeah. I, I get a bad they're like effing busting out the condom and I'm just like swinging from the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Literally no idea what's going on. That is the worst and best image. Thank you. Also, where did I put, <laughs> fuck? Where did I put those uh, 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 questions? I'm so disorganized in my brain. Oh. Yeah. I imagine the dude, he's just sitting there like busting out careless whisper. Do 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 I'm just on the cell mic. And I'm gonna swing from the shadow. And then he just leaves at that point. Like, 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 like low key, I loved that song. I loved it. That was alright, that was alright, you know, you don't like The Office, I don't really like that song, you know. How does What's she spin so much? How does she do all the spin? So many spin! <laughs> I don't know. I was hanging out with kittens today, and it's like, she has kitten energy, she just keeps going and going and going. Nonsense. Oh, huh? Who's kittens? I went to a facility where kittens can be touched oh! for money. Wait, these are actual cats? Are you gonna adopt a cat? I was thinking about it. Oh! <laughs> That's so cute. That's way cuter than a girl named Kittens. Okay. Oh, hello, oh. kitten. Yeah, I thought you were on Epic Discord for a sec. I was like, Melody, I didn't know you played Valorant. That's crazy. Dude, I saw it on the wall and it was written in cursive and it said, hello, kitten. And I started making, I, I, I dropped my voice and I was like, hello, kitten. And I got looked at like I was crazy and I'm thinking like, uh, 
Duh, was that not intentional? <laughs> Oh god, Fuck. dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I you ever do that thing where you just assume everybody knows the meme, but then yeah. you realize people are normal humans? Yeah, <laughs> that is exactly what happened, and I was offended that it wasn't that, and that they were just saying like, oh hello, kitten. Oh god, you probably sounded like that dude from a series of unfortunate events, yes. Count Olaf. <laughs> just yeah. like, hello, kitten. <laughs> oh my god, I just started watching what watch it watching Lemony Snicket. I saw two episodes and I and I ended it. I ended it. It was giving me so much stress. Yeah. It's one of those shows that's kind of hard to watch, eh? Yeah. I, I remember seeing the movie, too. How was it? I saw half. A long time ago. Oh, that, that was pretty good. It was pretty good. One of the most famous scenes in it where Count Olaf walks up to the children. He's trying to do, like, his whole, like, spiel and be like, Hello and welcome to my manor. But the actor actually messed up in the middle of the scene. He said, Wait. Let's run that over. Let's do that over again. He turns around, still in character, goes back up the stairs, and comes down the stairs doing his theatrics all over again. It looks so true to Count Olaf that they kept it into the final cut. So you can actually see a blooper that's in the final movie, basically, which Wait, is really cool. I've seen that scene. That wasn't intentional? That wasn't intentional. No, 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 no. It was completely improv because he messed up his line. That's so Jim Carrey. Bro. Yeah, right? Pretty sick. Pretty sick. So, uh, respect to that. He is one of my all-time favorite actors. You know, I feel like people are like, do you know Adriana Lopez or the frick? I, like, I don't, I, I kind of like live under a rock where it's like, I know Johnny Depp and like Amber Heard, but that's that's the only thing I heard about, you know? <laughs> it, it's just like, uh, you know, like Justin Bieber, he's pretty cool. But after that, I, ugh, I have no idea at all. Bro, I'm sorry, but you're like the worst Zoomer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen, I know during the course of this podcast, I've already confessed to not knowing a single famous person, not being able to rewatch a show, and also shoving a straw to the bottom of a styrofoam Toys. cup. But that doesn't make me a zoomer, right? Chat? Stop kicking. Chat! Stop kicking! <laughs> Chat! Did you have some copium? Wait. I don't mm. drink coffee! Copium- Wait! Stop! How did you know it was coffee? It's really bad. Oh, is it? Oh, oh yeah. God. Uh, let me tell you, they're just typing keg. Ma Ma it's, uh, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Now, you know one time- Okay, listen, I don't drink coffee. Mm. I don't drink Red Bull. Mm. However, I highly- I, I'm a fan of them. And how I know I'm a fan is one time I drank Red Bull. And let me tell you, one time was all I needed. I poured that junk down my throat because I was so curious what it would be like. It was like injecting liquid nitrogen straight into my veins. I was hitting that effing NOS, right? <laughs> and let me tell you, as a sour apple taste faded from my mouth, the energy surged through my body. <laughs> uh, like, I felt like Epic Midoriya from My Hero Academia. Just like, I have the power! H and How? someone, hmm? I don't know, someone tried to like, you know, like, like, do like a little fake towards me for fun because they saw me like hopping around. I turned around like, <laughs> and I, I was, I was out of there. <laughs> I was legit like two houses down the road before I turned around to look back. <laughs> that is not what I expected. I thought you'd be like, oh yeah, I had like five noses and I sat in the corner and just stared at the wall. Like it cured the hyperactivity. <laughs> you think? No, I made it worse. <laughs> so to this day, I've never, I've never consumed any more uh, Red Bull uh, or, or coffee. So, <laughs> well, that's... that'd be so funny. Imagine just made me like schizophrenic. I'm just like, I'm just like... <laughs> Just like rocking back and forth in a corner. Chat, do not clip that, please. I beg <laughs> you. I beg you. <laughs> Let them clip what they may. I'm here to lay it all bare. <laughs> so dumb. I love it. I would love to see that. Although I feel like whatever your room, what room you are in after you've consumed an energy drink, it would just like start shaking. Like just, I mean, the, the vibrations like, from you moving the actual like. Melody. Yeah. I have four holes in my wall. Uh, without Red Bull. What? What? Why? Well, let me tell you. I got one right there. That was by my left foot during a back handspring. 
I got one from my right shoulder slamming into the wall. Which, by the way, you were there for that. <laughs> Remember that time, Melody, when I said I'm gonna jump into the wall for subs when we were hanging out as like, yep, the first yep, time? Yep, 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 yep. That was the moment I created a hole in the wall with my shoulder. So you were there for that one. Props to you. Um, and then we have uh, the classic butt wall. I was pretending to be Spider-Man. I did a forwards roll and my left butt cheek put a hole in my wall. And then we have the most recent one. I don't remember where it came from, but it's there now. It's almost shaped like an egg. So that's pretty cool. How sharp are your bones? They're not uh, sharp per se. I think it's just the epic blunt trauma of a small human smashing through a paper wall. I know, you know you're, like, you're 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 like a origami person. You're very t very 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 small. So how in the hell yeah. are you doing damage? Let me tell you, Melody, that booty ain't small. <laughs> <laughs> she said wrongly. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Come on! Don't put me on blast like that. <laughs> you can have some of mine. There's plenty to go around. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure you which like, melody. Hmm? Yeah. We should actually get to an actual question. Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> you ready for this? Yeah. How about this? Speaking of cake, Melody. Oh snap. <clears throat> Our first question is: Is it hot for guys to be caked up or no? Whoa. Is Here's it? the thing, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. If a guy comes up to me and he's got a cupcake on his left butt cheek <laughs> and an actual cookie cake on his right butt cheek, <laughs> I mean, he's already got me hooked, line, and sinker. I'm not gonna lie. Which you mean literally or like, like, like a fat ass? <laughs> All I'm saying is if someone fell into the vat at the effing cookie cake factory and crawled out of that, that'd be marriage material. And survived. If you survived this horrible accident at the at the cookie dough factory. You know, like, here's the thing, right? They might have superpowers. They might be able to effing ejaculate cookie dough at that point. I mean, how could you not? I don't have right. the right emote to express my feelings, but they were positive ones. Right, but like, imagine this, They're, they they ejaculate cookie dough, they get blocked up by a chocolate chip, taste a little bit of extra help from you, and then it all bursts out, you know? Honestly, this reminds me of my friend. Mm -hmm. So she... <laughs> Are you uncomfortable with the blowjob story? Uh, no, you go for it! <laughs> you sure? You seem a little uncomfortable. I'm a virgin. That doesn't... You can... So? Let's do it. You can put you can put your fingers in your ears. Nice. Wait. Chat. Oh my god, I knew this girl. And 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 so she didn't like um well she she liked giving a situation, but she didn't like the finale, if you know what I mean. So um they were in psychology like class together in college, and so they started using like Pavlovian psychology or operant conditioning. Um so that every time she did finish like he would give her a kit kat bar and so like <laughs> at, a, <laughs> at a certain point they were at the grocery store and they're like and they sell those big packs for halloween and they're like oh do you want a kit kat bar and she had turned to him and said ew they taste like <laughs> what the story is oh. over you're safe you now Kit Kats are ruined forever. Wait, you were listening? <laughs> I wait. These ears are fake, Melody. What do you want me to do? Damn! <laughs> I told you to put your the, the, your ears closed. I didn't, didn't do anything. I'm not a cat girl in real life, Melody. I'm just touching the top of my head. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm really sorry. You had to specify. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I'm just never gonna order a Kit Kat again. What would you do but for like, a Kit Kat bar? Melody, Probably not that. Having, if they make like they if they go like a Halloween special vanilla flavored Kit Kat, I'm just gonna vomit on the spot. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh frick! And then it's like Brody edition on the wrapper. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh my soul! Oh. Never to share Kit Kats ever again. <laughs> That's how you get written up at work. They were sharing Kit Kat bars with me and I was very offended. Um, but <laughs> is it hot for guys to be caked up or no? Um, as a pansexual, I like lots of people. 
And you know what? I like some back. I like maybe got back. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm a, yeah. Yeah. I'm more spatu sexual, but yeah, it's fair. Spatula? Yeah. Nice. What is that? I like the sound, sound they make when they scrape across a countertop. It effing sounds like nails on a chalkboard. It's pretty effing ASMR. -y. Oh yeah. Well, what about the rubber ones when you're getting cake batter out? Oh, those are so good because they kind of like they put up pressure and then they hop a couple inches. Yeah. And then they burp, burp, burp. Yeah. That's actually pretty good too. I think if you combine the two together, you'd have like a you know kind of like a synth wave screech from the metal one with like an you know percussion sound from the rubber one. You could probably garage band some effing SoundCloud rap out of that junk. Dude, I'd I'm be into down for that. That'll Kitchen be my, rap, baby. That can be your, your your going live sound. That could just you can garage band that shit. Yeah, how to end your career in five seconds sounds good to me. Hey guys, <laughs> I paid these dorks on Fiverr to create a sound that simulates 2001 Apple MacBooks doing garage band. What do you think? <laughs> oh god, the song goes on just. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my name's Fillion. I make a million. I'm in the kitchen because that's not where I belong. I just chose to be here making a sandwich. <laughs> It'd be so terrible, dude. I would love I would love it and it would be worth those twenty dollars. Times a thousand. So wait, no, that's that, a deal. To twenty dollars again. <laughs> Alright, bet. It's like a fiber YouTube video. It's like I paid someone five dollars to make sounds of sc spatula screeching into a song. I paid this one a hundred dollars to make the spatula screeching into a song. I paid this guy ten thousand dollars to make spatula screeching into a song. Like some effing scope Mr. Beast video, and you just see what the best one is. Bro, 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 I do it for nine thousand. Easy for you, friend discount. Sorry, add a dollar to it or no deal. I have two spatulas. It can be done. I can create art. <laughs> Fine, but the low, low price of $9,001 will make the spatula song. I'm effing <sighs> ready for it. 9, That's the collab of the century. That doesn't Speaking even pay of... for all my llamas. Oh, it's all right. Speaking Listen, of llamas. Melody. Let's see. Ooh, there's Speaking a of bunch. llamas. How many? Melody. When is the Wii Remote review? What number is that? That's not a number. Well,. The Wii Remote review, Melody. I bought a pink Wii Remote. Cooker. No, you didn't. No, you yeah, fucking I did. didn't. I physically no, have it right didn't. here. Look. I'll take a picture right now and send it to you. You can show it to stream if you want. Take Are you a down picture for that? immediately. Okay. Yes, I don't right. believe you. I just you. knocked over my water bottle. All right, you're gonna have to give me just a sec while I lock this bad boy in. Chat, do you think she's fucking with me? I. Of course, Melody. I would never do this seriously. Haha. <laughs> <clears throat> Let me just copy my photo and then. Oh, send where's it your hand right now? My goodness. Oh. Melody, I'm about to dox myself. Cool, <laughs> man. <laughs> that would be crazy if we did that. All right, here we go. Da -da 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 -dun. Melody, I bestow upon you my pink Wii Remote. What in the fuck? Do you like what you see? Uh, I. How, how did. It's even got the soft gel exterior for extra texture. It's, it's ripped for her blood. <laughs> you already know how it is, you know? We, we ain't spare no expenses out here on this mother trucker. So yeah, I mean, god dang. Where, where did you get this? <laughs> uh, I got off of Amazon for $12. <laughs> oh, god damn I was it. I was surprised how cheap it was. I, it was so cheap. Who could put a, 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 a price on, on pleasurely de delight? Earthly delights, there we go. I, well, shit. Okay, I guess I have to get a Wii Remote now, too. Yep, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna make the Wii Remote review happen. <laughs> yeah, I, di I didn't have that one because it was my friends, so. <clears throat> That's fine. This is a beautiful Wii Remote. I I'm gonna be real. I can link you what I purchased. I'll do it. Please. I don't even remember what I purchased. I'll link it to you. Okay. I'll have to ask <laughs> someone to get it for me. Let me flip it. Oh, true. Wait, have you told your stream that before? Oh, they know. They're quite aware of my frustration. Dude, Melody told me that she is banned off of Amazon because a long time ago, some effing drama happened when Amazon first acquired Twitch, got her perma ban on Amazon. She's out here telling me that she's effing living in post World War III <laughs> era on sticks and stones. Like, holy frick. <laughs> I'm just like, she's gotta get somebody to ship her soap, even. How do you survive in those conditions? It's like cavemen all over again. <laughs> 
Yeah, she, she, uh, uh, everything. Okay. Yeah, she's like, how do you, how do you literally do anything? And I'm like, uh, it's just, I have like a stick and I'm like pushing rocks around and just like, like, like wishing for fire. It's, it's, it, it's hard out here, man. It was the saddest story. She told me sometimes her mom sends her stuff. <laughs> hey mom, thanks for the toilet paper. Really appreciate that. We might survive through this month. I mean, why do you guys think I got so into Etsy? It was my only option. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're just in the, it's like it's three in the morning. You're just browsing AliExpress in the background, looking for some Chinese knockoff of like an effing couch or something like that. <laughs> you you order it and it's just like they just sent you one cushion and a piece of wood. You're like, God dang it, man, dude, you get weird shit from Alibaba, dude. Seriously, seriously, I've seen weird shit, the haunting things on Ali. It's a lawless place, my god. It's <laughs> it's like going on Omegle except with products. It's so goofy. Freaking Omegle. I still think that's a... Mm -hmm. Did you ever share your Omegle story? What Omegle story? How you oh. had a surprising uh -huh. luck on Omegle? Unlike anyone's yeah, ever I have. before. I have had surprising... Okay, so listen, here's the situation. I have gone on Omegle before for like YouTube comp clips and stuff like that, but never once in my entire career of Omegle have I seen um an actual PP. <laughs> Not even once, somehow, in my short career with it. Now you may say that's really unbelievable, but let me tell you, Melody, I have seen two people spanking the monkey, so to speak, on Omegle, but it was off camera, <laughs> but you can see what they were doing. And my favorite story with this is that I clicked onto Omegle and this guy had an effing mask made of paper on his face and he was clearly jerking off, right? I looked into his eyes and I said, dang dream, you really fell off. <gasps> and he just stopped jerking off and skipped me. <laughs> Victory! <laughs> That's what the mask is! That's what the point of the mask is! Why are you so, so funny? God damn it! God damn it! I don't know, it. dude. I, that, I, it's, my, it's my highest honor that Dream skipped me on Omega while jerking off. You just so see I, like, like, like a tear going down one eye and then it goes next. Yep. <laughs> and the best part is, I haven't recorded, I never uploaded it. Cause I was like, am I gonna get banned for that? I don't know. But <laughs> you can do what I did. My last blurg, it, it replaced sounds with dolphin noises. Yeah, yeah, maybe so. But I gotta replace his entire arm doing a jackhammer motion. So I don't know. I mean, your <laughs> editor's pretty, 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 pretty swifty. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe but you can do like a windshield wiper, and it makes like the noise like. <laughs> yeah, you just you just Photoshop an effing wiper into it. <laughs> Thanks, Dream. Really appreciate it, even though YouTube didn't work out for you. My windows are really clean now. So clean. You got it. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's the way, man. It's good to have it a backup. Will look, it will look like the dude is, uh, like, scraping off his Omega window, you know? It's like, yep, keep an Omega clean one scrape at a time. Thanks, oh Dream. Oh, God. It could, hmm, what else could be moving? Because you could, I, I could hear it be like, wahoo! Like, like. In, in, in the Mario <laughs> yeah. sounds? Oh, frick, what else could it be? Uh, maybe I could have like an effing bowl at the bottom. He's got like an egg beater. <gasps> it just, it just, it's a piece of cake to bake a pretty cake. <laughs> if you wanna make it, you gotta do the cooking, motherfucker. <laughs> you know you can't be lazy. That'd be actually so good. Yeah, I, I may, maybe I should do that. I was gonna make a full Miggle video probably in like another couple weeks or something like that. Like an actual full YouTube video. Oh. Maybe I could sneak in that dream clip. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Definitely consider it. I guess the first stream I ever did was also on a Miggle, but I never posted it as well. You, wait, what? Wait, you streamed on Miggle? I mean, yeah, I guess. To, well, no, I recorded it. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. I didn't know how to stream. <laughs> mm. So wait, your first venture was making like, I don't know, like like YouTube friendly comment content was like Omegle. I mean, my, my first talking to others. Oh. My first interaction. Do you have it recorded and saved still? Probably. Oh. Did you do this melody? I am melody. Right. Okay, you know what I mean. 
<laughs> That'd be so cool to see it. People and just like, hmm? first day. Oh, wait, it's posted somewhere? No. Oh, no. Oh, you're telling me people have seen it. How how do I convince you to post that? That is such a precious memory. The first venture forth onto Omegle. No, it's really weird. <laughs> uh-huh. That's the thing, right? Okay, so like, guys, as streamers, we sit here and we talk to each other, you know, and we have a good time, right? But I have crippling anxiety whenever I go into Omegle. It is the most nerve-wracking thing ever. I think the thing is like, you know, you're talking to an actual human on the other end of the screen. Like, they hit skip whenever they feel like it. It hits different compared to streaming. So, like, it is so awkward and hard to be on Omega. So, I'm so curious what it was like when you first did that. Oh, it was terrifying. Honestly, the ones that were fabricating, I was way less stressed with. Because it's like, okay. So I, my I mean, people. Like, yeah, my, my people. And also, like, you know, we have <laughs> a shared interest. And, you know, they're right. also kind of focused on them. So it's not all on me. And it's just like, mm -hmm. like, th 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 there's there's other stuff going on. There's an right. icebreaker. Thank you. There's an icebreaker. Exactly. It's an icebreaker, right? They come up with a plan. You know, they're going to stare at you for a few seconds. If it looks like you have a vagina, they'll type open bob. And then they'll move on with their day. Like, oh. that's completely fair. Open bob, show vagine. My God. <laughs> my God. That is my <laughs> I, universe. My favorite part is when people like they see my VTube model and they're just like they're like they're like F it, we'll go for it. They type open bomb. Open bomb, <laughs> man. Open bomb. They're, just, they're staring at my VTube model. <laughs> they're like, yeah, man, that's fine, it's good enough. It's so dumb. I was thinking of eating a shirt that says open bomb. Do you think do you, would you recommend it? I would wear that, honestly. Really? Straight up. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I would walk down the street wearing an open bob shirt. People would be like, wow, who's Bob? Why is he so open to discussion, you know? What's the big topic? And then the, and then the other people yeah. who get it. <laughs> the people who get it, they'll get it. And that's what I'm talking about. They're like, ah -ha. Does the model have a furry version? I know what you're into, Taco Sim Snacker. Taco, what are you doing here? Are you no Taco? Thing. Yeah, he's a regular in my chat. What's up, Taco? Shout I, out. I see some of your regulars in here. Yeah, how can you tell? Is it because their name is Philly and Simp or what? Some of them have your name in it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> in my Discord, you can rename people. So whenever someone in my Discord is named Philly and Simp, I rename them to Philly and Friend. Aww. And then they change their name back and I rename them back to Philly and Friend. I'm like, change this again, you're banned. <laughs> Why are you like this? <laughs> it's like, I don't want to get simped for. I want some, I like what, I want friends and like fans and maybe even stands, you know? Maybe we'll go that far, but I don't need simps. What's the I difference between a stand and a, and, and, and a shrimp? I think a shrimp, um, if they could hit that, they would. I don't think a stand would necessarily. Oh, really? I think that's the difference in my mind. Oh. Like, like a stand is like a super fan, but a simp is like, they're wearing a fedora. Well then, I'm changing my 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 votes for BTS. I'm I'm, I'm switching it around. Anyway, um, Stan is protector and an enjoyer. Stan is a right. protector. Okay, I'm a shrimp. I see. Right, right, right. <laughs> so that that's my my opinion on it. Like Stan's might go out and attack people like an effing angry mob. Stan but... is a stalker fan. Oh. Well, they can be. That's no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. That's like the final stage, right? When you're a stan, you have two career paths to graduate into. You either graduate into a simp, or you graduate into a stalker, right? Oh. And there's only, there's only, the, those are the career paths. It's like, uh, I don't know, like when you're playing some video game, you just level up. You're like, choose your next path. You know, that's what they pick. It's one of the two. But what you encourage them to do is to remain at the stand level. That is the healthy balance right there. Oh, so it's like being in a liberal arts college and it's like, you're just kind of doing your thing, you know? And, and you can either graduate and, well, I mean, not everyone graduates. Hmm, so yeah, you have a choice. Be a shrimp right. or a stand. A full Basically, stand. Basically, you're supposed to get your bachelor's degree and not go in for the simp master, you know, degree. <laughs> Do it for masters, that's too much. Like you can get you can get merch at a con, but I think that's the furthest, man. Yeah, I don't mm -hmm. think you need a master's degree to watch a VTuber. Like, that's that's my thought, right? I, I don't know. Some of us are very edumacated. That's true, that's true. I did watch Rick and Morty one time. Exactly. exactly. I love Pickle Rick. He's so funny. Really? Yeah, I like it. Like him the too. funniest joke I've ever seen. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Also, the part about the Szechuan sauce is my favorite. They're like, oh, I need the Szechuan sauce. Ah, the 
that was so funny, dude. Dude, that kid wigged out. He needs to talk to someone. That was so inappropriate, that scene at the McDonald's. Wait, that was me. Huh? That was me. You were that loud boy? <laughs> Don't ask a VTuber their gender, Melody. Oh, I'm, so I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Come on. Don't rule number like one of VTubing. I'm, I'm so, you, got, you got up on the desk and started screaming at the cashiers. And then yeah, you laid on the ground. Yeah, my voice changes pretty in. well. Right. Fair enough. I'm so sorry. I forgot. Exactly. I was morbing, you know. It is what it is. Honestly, that video at McDonald's, I can't describe it any way other than morbing. He was morbing <laughs> before Morbius. Dude was morbing from the future. Oh my <laughs> He's god. He's a time traveler. Rick and Morbius. What did he mean? <laughs> Fillion went feral. Clearly, but thank you for bringing back that sauce. One bad, one bad, one bad. Really? You actually had it? I never had that, Jolene. Gotta make that, gotta make that. If you're a true super fan, you make that, that trek, man. Melody, are you a Rick and Morty super fan? I mean, I did watch seven episodes yesterday. God dang! I was just okay, in that I'm not mood. caught up. I was just yeah. in that mood. Honestly, that show tickles my brain. It's good. It's a good show. I definitely like it. Have you seen Solar Opposites? Mm -mm. Is it is it like as good as Rick and Morty? It is um missing one of them. It's either missing Roylan or, damn it! So Rick and Morty is by Roylan and, God damn it, the guy from Community. Uh, 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 help, chat, help, help me, help me! I, do, I just, is it Roylan? Dan I just Harman, remember his name sounded like effing Roid Rage, that's all I remember. Dan Harmon, so Dan Harmon and, and Roylan are Rick and Morty. And so Dan Harmon is the brooding, inner pain, self-hatred, like, oh, that was a dark one. That's Dan right. Harmon. And he's also funny, but very sad. And, and Roiland is just really, really funny. And so Solar Opposites is just Roiland. So there's none of that brooding uh, 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 existential dread and just like, oh, that's inappropriate. That's amazing. Solar Opposites is hilarious and strange. It's just like American Dad, where the real focus was Family Guy and American Dad was left alone as a child. So it got to really just do whatever it wants. See, right, so right. And there's like an epic alien walking around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they get <laughs> they get so awful. Many of the episodes don't even revolve around the char main characters. <laughs> it just it just that reminds me of like when people started dubbing anime a long time ago, back before dubbing anime was popular. <laughs> they would just do whatever they frick they wanted, and Hell so yeah. they like they would change what the people were saying, and then they would just do horrible dub effects. It was so effing good. I remember like watching this video like of a dub. I'm like, I can't tell this is official or fake. And then like cursing every five seconds and just like making semi like stereotypical jokes about people. It was like the most like raunchy off the wall junk. It was really funny. But I was like, I cannot tell if this is official or not. I looked it up. This is some official dub that actually happened by some company that was not getting paid enough to dub it. And they had an actual field day with it. Are you thinking I don't of ghost stories? Maybe? I don't know. I'm sure somebody knows that thing. Bro, ghost stories. Yeah, the ghost stories dub. Is that it? Yeah. Was it a bunch of I, I kids and it was a haunted anime? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. I think so. Yeah. Ghost stories. <laughs> but there's a second one, though. Guys, I need the smartest of the big brains out here. We're going to need a boomer. Guys, I'm looking for someone where it was the wait, actual wait, English slow dub. Down, Melody. Huh? You said the smartest of the big brains out here. They said boomer. Yeah, right, I need a... Gonna, you guys I need get zoomers? I don't think a zoomer would know this by heart i'm looking this i i saw clips of it i need to watch the whole thing not samurai pizza cat um it's this dude and i guess he time traveled and there's this like fairy as well and it was the english dubbing was by the studio but it was the worst thing ever in the universe it was something's something something's something i believe in you guys someone will know garzy yep garzy's wing thank you hell how how old are you please <laughs> Please! Oi! Oh, the poor Twitch chatter. You're at least 23. <laughs> Admit it! <laughs> Garzy's wing, thank you. Finish the sentence. 23 and... Me? Got him. All right, Melody's at least 23, guys. We caught her. Yeah! <laughs> that easy, baby. <laughs> 23 years young. I'm kidding. I hate that Boomer is like 30 because then I'll see people in my community like, well, time to die. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> well, I 
I've reached the ripe old age of 30. <laughs> I mean, maybe in when it was 1200 uh, yeah. BC or something, but Boomer's like 70 or 60. 60. 60. 60 seven, seven. Yeah, Chad, POV, you're an effing caveman. I've reached the ripe old age of 30. This is so cool. <gasps> Did you fall and you can't get up? Do you need life alert? No, I need effing antibiotics because I'm a caveman. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh my god. 30 is a millennial. I, I, I know it's literally that, but we say boomer because the internet is mean. <laughs> it's fun to say boomer, yeah? It's just fun. <laughs> It's funny too because it makes like people that age mad. It's just like, okay, boomer. Exactly. I'm a I, that's what makes it. That's why it's called bullying for a reason. <laughs> right. Chat, the more you feed into it and deny it, the worse it'll become. Exactly. Just say, yeah, I am a boomer. All right. And you're an effing goldfish brain zoomer. And then you just go from there, you know? Yeah, no one actually thinks that's old. <laughs> You two need to stop. Fine, God. The only person who thinks 30 years old is effing Ludwig. He's like, oh man, I don't think I'm gonna be a streamer for too long because I'm getting close to like 30 years old and no one's gonna watch me. It's like, what? come on, man. Yeah, yeah. He thinks that he can't keep up with like the times or something like that as a streamer when he's like effing like 25 or 26. I don't even know what his age is. But it's like, come on, man, you ain't old. I feel like he's the only person that feels like that. What? I feel like so many of like the coolest YouTubers and VTubers and all of them are like right. 25, 30, 30, 30, 30. You could be like 40 years old as long as you take care of yourself and remain youthful in the mind. And mm. nobody effing cares. I mean, come on, just don't even talk about your age, you know? But yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like a weird situation in my mind. It's just I feel like you're only as old, like, mentally, as you allow yourself to be. Like, mm -hmm. if you want to stay young at heart, you could probably do that. Like, just open up TikTok and scroll it for an hour. You probably lost, like, five years of mental age, you know? <laughs> like, it's really not that hard, in my opinion. That's just start so saying, on oh, God, no cap, for real, for real, for real. A uh, fax, bro, uh, on God, you know? And then, and then you're already there. You're already halfway there. Oh, my God. I wish I was as young as Nag. How old is Nags? Chad is a genius. They don't. They know all things. Yeah, Chad is <laughs> Chad is Google. <laughs> Mags is three. Oh, oh. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh. <laughs> Nags is one year old for every letter in his name. Isn't Nags like thirty-five? But he feels like eighteen. Wow, that sounded really inappropriate. I mean, like, like he's <laughs> melody. <laughs> hey, Nags. <laughs> Melody just wants you to know you feel like you're 18. No, I didn't mean She's it like that. your hand while you were sleeping one night. What? No, I... Oh my god, I'm gonna get arrested. No, seriously. No, 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 no. I mean, like, because it... You... Uh, youthful. Youthful. It's like he takes the blood of babies in his skin. Oh, his skin is That's wonderful. That's not helping it's your no situation. What? I That's made it better. That's your case, Melody. I made it better. What are you talking about? You made him a vampire. <laughs> Epic Edward Cole. What a fanfic edition. Like, come on. You made him Lady Lancome. <laughs> just you just having shipped him in a fanfic. I, 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 can I ban Melody? Not if I ban me first. The party ban is outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, dude. Dude, I can't help it. I, like, am so, like, ugh. There's some, I'm sure there's someone in your life. There has to be a person. Like, I don't even know Nags that well, but there's just something about him that I like. I like him. I think he's pleasant. He's so pleasant. And if anyone harmed him, I would come at you like a spider monkey. I would rain Dang. knives from the heavens. Dang! Okay, she's gonna go anime on you. Holy frick. I think Nags is pretty cool, but I have never interacted with Nags in my life. I've only seen him in clips, you know? Um, mm. but here's the thing. Here's my take on the matter. This might be an interesting, like, thought, all right, that I've had, all right? Bring it! I have noticed that in the world of VTubers, there are a few, like, guys who aren't VTubers themselves that are super into VTubers, right? Mm. And they make it a mission to befriend every VTuber that they can, yeah. right? 
And I call these people, like, in my mind, like, in the effing Twitch network, VTube world, you know, like, where everything's a spider network connected together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think of these people as, like, epicenters of meeting VTubers, right? Yeah. So you have Nags, for example, who knows a bunch of VTubers. But you also have Tecton, who is a massive center of VTubers. Mm -hmm, and then you mm -hmm. also have Saikuno, who is more kind of distributed. You know, he's met a lot of people over his time. Yeah, but, but, like, yeah. I kind of, like, think of these people as, like... Like centerpieces of like uniting the VTuber community in some way, and it's such like a weird phenomenon to me. But like, do you kind of have you noticed that before that they're just like some guys that kind of like unite the VTuber community themselves? Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, yep. Right there. See. Okay. With coefficient and with C dog. See the thing right there though. Oh, C dog and well, lost kinda? pause. See. Mm -hmm. Two of them, I, 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 who I would blame for making them hubs, I would say Iron Mouse for Saikuno, and um. Wait, Saikuno and wait, what was other coefficient? No, uh, Brick. I said Tecton. Oh, Sea Dog. Mm, sea Dog, yeah. Like I feel like a few of us have like latched on to Owen oh, Corpse. Nice. Have like uh, interacted with non VTubers, and yeah. then they became obsessed with VTubers or super in that world, and also spread their interest to all of their non VTuber communities, and we just sort of started getting closer and closer. And I right. absolutely see that effect. Absolutely. And I think it's cool as hell. Cause it used to be like early days VTubing, like, ah, you're you're collabing with a, a human? <laughs> <laughs> it's anymore. so bad. And if you're a female VTuber, ew, how dare you talk to another man on your stream? Yes. <laughs> it's so bad. But yeah. yeah, no, you're totally right. You're totally right. Um, I think Mousy's actually worked just as hard, if not harder, at bridging. Wait, hold on. At bridging the sort of divide than most. I yes, I agree. <laughs> I concur. Um, let me see. How dare you speak of a male? I know she dropped the M word. My God, on my channel, <laughs> really? You can't say male. You can't say mommy. <laughs> Well, I'm sure you can say mommy. Enough people have called me mommy. Stop wait, calling me mommy. Really? Wait, is that word not banned on your stream? Uh, we're pretty open. I'd say. Whoa! My community, I had to ban that effing word. I'm pretty effing <laughs> sure. People are just like, please bend over, mommy. It's just like the, it's like an effing 12 year old's typing at me. It's just like, ha ha ha, I'm so quirked up. Oh I'm quirked my up. God, dude. <laughs> it's, it's weird for me because I have two different chat rooms. And in the other chat room, the emotes that you're allowed to post, good golly, Miss Molly. So it's like, I, I, who knows what's appropriate anymore? Our minds have been destroyed. <laughs> 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 I feel like your community is so different from mine. It's kind of neat. I mean, but I'd say a lot of... How much of my community was already a Philean fan? Or else ha had her popping up in your... Yo, one in the chat. <laughs> or, oh, yeah, yeah. One in the chat if you knew Philean before. And two, if classic. you were a fool and did not know, but now you do. See? There Mod you go. And everyone typing, too. Oh, wait, I also saw one, too. They put a troll face. Ban him anyway. Kill him, kill him, <laughs> kill him. Demons eradicate them from the planet. Arrest <laughs> that man. Whoever <laughs> said three, you're gonna have two days of bad luck. The having Spanish Inquisition will find you. <laughs> no one expected Spanish Inquisition. You know what? No one did expect it, and then it was awful. Hmm? I don't even know what the Spanish Inquisition is. I just know oh, they're having like the KKK, except they're red edition. It's just like what? Like I don't know what the frick they are. Like what? What do they do? The Inquisition was horrible and dark, but human history has a lot of dark spots. Um, right. That was unnecessary and just like the service of the sun. Hmm. Got some dark spots on it. I'm sure. Have you ever seen those witch hunter kits? Or like Wait, copies of the Malaeus Malefic harem. What is the harem? Huh? No, the huh. I really like history. Um, so like there's used to be like witch hunters and monster hunters are the ones that made the specifications for like, oh, that's a werewolf when really people had no like way. hormonal yeah, issues. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like and this they human has rabies. I found the werewolf. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. The ones that were responsible or people where you, you dig up like their their old you found their old bones and stuff and you found that there was like a stake through their chest. It was those people. 
that were like the monster hunters, the supernatural brothers of the olden times, but Whoa. like assigned by the church. Uh, those were like the Inqu Inquisition people where they were just looking for, they were just jumping at shadows and killing people and it was a horrible, horrible time. And it was- Jesus Christ. <laughs> a lot, most of the witches were women who uh, disrespected men. So weird, huh? How that happened. That's a crazy yeah. coincidence. That's so yeah. crazy. Did you know that if you disrespect men, you're probably also into the dark arts? Probably, <laughs> you know, you're, you're Satan's uh, escort, Satan's con concubine, Satan's concubine. Okay. Well, yeah, that's so effing grim. I just feel like half of human history was just trying to see how far back it could set itself without <laughs> using nukes. Like, it's just, just like, come on, man. What were people doing? I, I heard this thing that um apparently someone a long time ago figured out, or rather not figured out, they thought that a good thing to do to help a wound is to take it off, clean it off, and then dress it up so it's nice and, like, sterile, basically. But people didn't know what bacteria were back then. So literally, they shunned that guy as a heretic and basically threw out 300 years worth of progression on antibiotics and, like, surviving from injuries out the window. Yep. And for 300 more years, people instead thought it was a good idea to just not do anything and just let it fester. Yeah, there were the, le, some people that like propositioned like, I made a poultice out with aloe vera. Just put it on yeah. that wound. They will be like, some of them believe like putting like feces on the wound. Right, right. They're like, they're like, they're like, they're like they have this like weird theory. Like, they're like the blood juices are flowing <laughs> in the right direction. They're northwise, clockwise, 45 degrees of the witch hunt up to the north. Uh, my hummus is feeling very good in line with the natural ley lines of the earth. I can feel the gravitational taking hold. It's just like, and, and then like they have been like snort rocks or something. I don't know what they did back then, right? Well, but they, it, it, they're, it, they're humors? Oh, huh? sorry. Yeah, the humors, right? They're hummus. What the friggin' All their right? hummus? Their hum hummus levels. <laughs> right, their hummus was out of line. It was out of whack, right? Yeah, it's like <laughs> instead of just putting on some effing aloe vera, it's just... It's... 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 it's it, what, one thing that I think is interesting historically is for some of the religious people that they had, like, dietary restrictions. So the ones that had very specific dietary restrictions, like they don't eat specific pork, of the times, things weren't taken care of very well cleanliness-wise, so it's like they were right. the ones that didn't die because they were avoiding that food. That's right! It's like evolution in the it's progress, a, yeah. right? <laughs> evolution is part of effing religion at that point, because I remember, like, uh... I don't know who it is, like Catholics or like Christians, I don't know. They can't eat meat for like 40 days or something like that. Hmm. It was because in that time period, around that season, a long time ago, pork would get, um, what do you call it? There's like, uh, uh, like parasites inside of them. The pig or crazies. You eat the pork. <laughs> yeah, well, if you ate the pork, you would get the larva or oh. freaking parasite inside of you, and then it would infect you after that. So like part of it was like, you know, you 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 don't eat meat for those 40 days to avoid getting parasites. Oh. But yeah, they're like, God has said that. You know, it's like, oh, I don't have to know, but for sure it protected those people, which is like a really <laughs> weird reality. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Trick, trick, yeah. trick and Anyway, then they cut off your pee pee. <laughs> I was told that before. I was told that by, well, uh, so I'm not that smart. I know a lot of facts, but I'm not that smart. My motherboard is much worse than me. I've come a long way. And I asked her what how a vasectomy wor works. And she told me, you cut off the head of the penis. What? Because you just said huh? it reminded me of... Because you, you just said... That's, you know, now that you think about it, Melody, that actually is one way to prevent contraception. I mean, why even have sex if you don't have the tip? <laughs> it's probably the least satisfying thing on earth. You're like, man, I'd rather hump a tree at this point. I don't feel anything. <laughs> Dude, what about those some some of those people that, that are in like those like oddity shows and they're like I can reach a state of arousal with my brain. I did it tw tw thrice during this interview. Th they have to like use all their mental powers. <laughs> what? What? They're like they're saying I can get aroused with my mind. Yeah, there was, I saw these different shows where some people have Holy like the frick. Yeah, they put them in like an MRI and they're like, we want to watch your brain. We need you to get there mentally. We're going to tie your hands behind your back and we want to look at this x-ray. 
What the frick? Imagine you're like running a superhero agency. This guy walks into the room and sits down the desk in front of you. And he's like, you're like, so what's your superpower? And he's like, <laughs> and you're like, wait, what's your superpower? And he's like, what is your superpower? And he's like, look down. <laughs> oh, he's got that big stain on his pants. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> and like, when you piss yourself, he's like, even better. And even like, that you no. wish. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, frick. And then, like, a bank robber is happening down the street. And he's like, give me one sec. <laughs> <laughs> and then all, like, the so bank that's... manager comes out and he's clapping his hand, like, You saved us. You Thank you so much. With your laser penis. Thank you. Oh, man. That's all we ever wanted. Thank you, sir, for your service. He can, he can, he can ejaculate accurately up to 75 <laughs> meters at speeds up to 600 miles per hour. <laughs> Oh my god, to be in the Guinness, like, who was the first person to break the sound barrier? Well, that was Yakko the Clown, who had magical penis powers, and that was actually him in 2022. So what he did was, he aped it at the ground and then fired straight down. He flew upwards and reached Mars the next day. It was actually pretty sick. Oh my <laughs> god, dude, Mr. Dr. Manhattan was really wasting those talents. <laughs> oh, true. He is the Inseminator. That is a great name for a superhero. Thank you. Ew. <laughs> the inseminator. We can't do orgasmo. That's already taken by a wonderful. That would probably movie. be the best party trick. Holy frig. Oh god. Okay. You want to see a party trick? Oh, Watch god. this. Oh god. Oh god. This I honestly sounds like a scene from The Boys. <laughs> want to see me pull a rabbit out of my hat? Did you bring a hat? No. <laughs> Yo, want to see me pull a rabbit out my butt? Just... <laughs> Actually, I kind of do. That's superpower. Yeah, yeah, me too. Dude, if someone comes up to you in an alley and stuff at night, and they're like, hey, one, not going to murder you. Two, want to see me pull a rabbit out of my butt. What are you going to do? You're like, no, bro, of course not. And he's like halfway already pulling it out. He's like, oh, my bad. He just kind of shoves it back in. Just like, yo, my bad, bro. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your, your uh, evening. Yeah, enjoy your evening. Anyway, can I get a $5 tip? I'm really... The gas prices are oh, insane God. nowadays. You have to understand. It's like, do you have a car? He's like, no. Feeding this <laughs> rabbit alone. My God. <laughs> yeah, it's like, can the rabbit breathe? And it's like, oh, it doesn't exist anymore. It just went back into the vacuum of my butt. It's He's, all good. That's what happens... At, oh, that's... See, that's a superhero who's fallen on hard times. Right. Oh, question two. <laughs> Wait, oh, there's supposed to be questions, <laughs> right. Okay, wait. The frick are we talking about? I've never had a PB&J milkshake, but it sounds kind of gross. That sounds amazing! Okay, minus the bread. Oh, yeah, 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 minus the bread. Melody, yeah. hear me out, okay? You think me having PB&J milkshake sounds weird? I had, and I, I'm not joking, mm -hmm. a peanut butter and jelly burger. Okay, I'll tell you why I'm grossed out. Well, one, gross. Two, I had a PB&J shot. I had a PB&J shot, and it was horrible! So I just assume that that was the worst thing ever. Okay, how about this? I'll build you up to it, you know? You've had a burger before, right? Burgers are good, you know? You're not a vegan, are you? Perfect. Okay, okay, good. We've asserted that. Okay, now, people have put peanut butter on a burger before. Does that sound disgusting to you? Yeah. God, it's good! Uh, and at that point, Melody, listen, all right, all you're doing is you're eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with, with, with like, with like a little bit of ground beef at the bottom, you know? Like, it's, that's all it is. It's good. What was it? Come on. <laughs> you're not a real PB&J fan. It's all right. I did. <laughs> you know, Melody, one time I ate ketchup on a granola bar. <laughs> what? That was disgusting. What? I was vomiting. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, okay. So there's a show called uh, Food Wars, aka Soma Shokageki no I Soma or something. I loved Food Wars. This is such a good show, right? But you know oh, the main no. character, Soma? He, he likes to cook disgusting meals like peanut butter squid, right? Uh. Right? I'm the same way. I like to make the most oh. diabolical meals and try them just to see how bad I like. You, you know? No, you were like that kid in like, like, 
freaking second grade primary school man who's like, hey, I just put every single item from lunch in the same container and I filled it with milk and I spilled, I stirred it all up, I drank it and spit in it. Do you want to try it? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> nah, nah, but like, but like, I'd be like that person, like if, 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 if the effing witch hunt were still real, I'd be like mixing them sauces up. They'd be like, what kind of witch's brew you making, you know? <laughs> the worst thing ever. <laughs> It's so goofy. Yeah, yeah. But like, I, I remember I used to do this thing where like, I would ask people for random items from their lunch. And just like, try to make some weird combination out of it. So I get potato chips from this guy. Maybe a hot dog from this girl. You know, you put all that thing together. And you're like, you got a, sh like a, a hot dog with jelly and like potato chips on it. You're like, bon appetit. And you just kind of go for it. See, that's the kid you watch because either A, they grow up to be a serial killer because you start with that and then you're combining well, I got bugs. That done. And then, right. What? Well, and then what's B? But B is an artist? Wait, what? Banana. All right, Melody, they either grow up to become a serial killer or what? A VTuber? <laughs> VTuber, that's me. I grew up as a VTuber. Holy shit! Are you okay, <laughs> my dear? Perhaps you need some Red Bull to get your 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 ADD in check. <laughs> Listen, Melody, your stream would crash if I drink Red Bull right now. It wouldn't handle it. If you drink Red Bull right <laughs> now, I would drink Red Bull right now. I have a can of Monster. Okay, so idea. Uh huh. Maybe this week. Mi pr definitely next week. I can okay. charge up all my VR chat stuff. Okay. And we can go we... drink an energy drink. Dude, that has to be the best idea I've ever heard. Holy frick! I don't drink alcohol, but my god, drinking energy drink. Oh, this is worse. That'd, that'd be so good. Wait, you you just opened my eyes. I can do drinking streams now, except it's energy drinks instead of alcohol. Holy frick! <laughs> I, You're a genius. I'm I'm something. I I I. Oh shit! Do I get a nos? Do I get a cocaine? Do I get a monster? What would rocks? What what do I get? You can get all the cocaine's melody. All right, here's the deal. Okay, how about um not this week, next week? Okay. Oh. We do a stream. Maybe we react to some content. Maybe we just ever on a VR chat. Maybe we do you laugh, you lose melody. And every time one of us laughs, we both take a drink. And then after that, we f around in VR chat for an hour just to see how bad it is. Dude, I want to do this until I feel ill. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. right. You're, we're either going to vomit or we're going to crash. There's only two options at the end of the day, you right? You laugh, you vomit. <laughs> you laugh. <laughs> just, like, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I had another idea. I just had another idea, Melody. Okay. You know the gallon challenge with milk? No. Okay, if you've never heard of this, okay. So it's basically impossible for someone to drink a gallon of milk in one go. Really? Right. They will vomit after a certain point. You're just you're just forced to vomit, like on the spot. <gasps> right? If you were a rat which can't vomit, you'd probably just die. I don't know, right? But it is like human reaction. If you drink a gallon of milk, you will vomit. And what I wanna do, right, Melody, is we do uh -oh. a stream. Where every time we fail, we gotta chug, chug some milk. Cause if we go too slow, we might actually survive the whole gallon. All right. The first one to vomit loses. God damn it. God damn it. Ah, uh, this that, is. That's a, that's a good idea. That's a banger idea. I'm not gonna lie. I, 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 I. Oh man, that makes me think of Hachima. <laughs> I, I'm. Uh, I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, good. So I would easily. Okay. Yeah, you would Wait, win. So, okay. Can someone do the numbers on that? If 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 we drink like almond titty milk, would that work too or not? <gasps> would almond titty work? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Does does almond milk make you vomit too? It's a terrible idea. You can't fight me. Don't vomit on stream. People Dude. don't believe <laughs> in 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 creativity anymore. Chat, we wouldn't actually vomit on stream. We're just VTubers, you know, we can't vomit, so. Yeah, we can. fine. No, remember the 14 bananas? No, I don't want to end Black up in the team. hospital again. No. Okay, I'm well, you know what, chat? We'll in the hospital for being stupid. Hmm? We'll, we'll, put, we'll put that idea on. We'll put that one on the back burner. <laughs> I, 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 I have an inquiry. Uh huh. How many times have you ended up at the hospital for being stupid? <laughs> 
From being stupid? Um... Something completely avoidable. Well... Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> so... Um... I feel like I've only been to the hospital for being an idiot <laughs> one time. And that was when I was climbing in a tree. And, you know, as they do, gravity was still functioning. And so I made, like, Isaac Newton's apple and smashed my way down to the floor. And I broke my wrist in that process. So I was in the hospital for my own repercussions. And to this day, since it was my left wrist, I had to redo all of my keybinds for the video games I was playing at the time. So my keybinds for video games are still kind of weird to this day. Wow. So that's kind of a weird thing. Yeah, like, I still use WASD. But I don't really use 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 on the keyboard anymore. I kind of use like Q, E, R, F, G, Z, X, and B, and all those other keys are like a lot more. Jesus so Christ! Weird. Yeah, so it kind of it kind of changed my gameplay because of that. Kind of goofy. Oh damn! I've never heard of something like that. That's interesting. Wow, player. What happens when you break your wrist falling out of a tree? <laughs> yeah, I I haven't done that. Yeah, I hear good things clearly. Right. Mm -hmm. I do the same. Uh, the only other time. Like I feel like I've been to the hospital is one time I got sent to the hospital from an iron deficiency. So, uh, oops. But that was about it. Yeah. You didn't drink enough blood that day. <laughs> hey! Hey! Okay, Wait. listen, I only watched Twilight one time. Give me a break. Dude, I watch it t at least twice a year. Wait, really? Do you like Twilight? No. Oh, what the you hate watching? I'm a hate watcher. That's me. God dang. I respect <laughs> that. <laughs> I know. I just heard that term the other day. I, hello, my name is Melody and I am a hate watcher. <laughs> All right. Somebody sound clip that junk. Uh... <laughs> well, please, 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 please. Wait, I thought that'd be, a, hmm? that would be a good sound alert, honestly. You're just like streaming and, some, and then like suddenly just pops up. Hi, I'm Melody. I'm a hate watcher. But oh, chat, Melody's here. <laughs> Here, I'll, 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 I'll mute the background. I'll mute the background. <clears throat> All right. Hel my fellow netizens, my name is Project Melody, and I'm a hate watcher. I love to hate. And I hate to, I, lo I love to watch what I, I, fuck! <laughs> I watch what I ate, Andrew Tate. Uh, what about my Tate? <laughs> oh frick! That taint uh, your business. Oh. Yeah, taint none of your business. God dang. God dang. I love the girls who love to hate. Oh, well, I guess that's me, dude. 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 N toddlers and tiaras. No one actually liked that. Everyone hate watched that so that they could either be mad at someone or be like, I'm not that bad, and feel better about themselves. No one actually liked that show. No one. <laughs> That show was a crime, I'm a, absolutely. Hmm? Yeah, I'm really not a hate watcher, but there was this one anime mm. that someone told me was good. They'd only watched the first two episodes. It was called King's Game. King's it Game. was... The first two episodes, they're all right. But the show quickly devolved into the worst piece of animation history I've witnessed in my entire life. Like, the plot did not make sense. It was like someone came up with a chainsaw, then they put the chainsaw on the ground, then the other person picked up the chainsaw, and then they cut off their leg for no reason, then they put the chainsaw back on the ground, they're like, DON'T HURT ME! Like, no, there was no plot, there was no semblance of reasons or any single point of it. A girl was just standing still that she caught on fire and fell off a building for no effing reason. The plot made zero sense, and I hate watch that junk so hard. Is it a and every movie? single day, oh, I sorry. messaged that person. What? I messaged that person who told me to watch King's Game, and I just wrote them a rant, like an effing essay about how god-awful that show was, roasting every single aspect of it, until there was nothing but cinders left over. Dude, I'm so ready. King's Game, is it, it's a horror. King's Game, the animation? Probably, it's an anime. It's like I keep one getting season. basketball. Uh, no, it's not basketball. It's like, a. Uh, it's kind of like Squid Game a little bit. King's Game the Animation is an anime television series. That? I don't know. I can't see what you see. I mean, was it an anime or a show? Yeah, it was an anime. It was an anime with some children. Oh, it also has an adaptation. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, yeah. These <laughs> no are, way these that are an adaptation. Human children. <laughs> Wait, was it about but but it's not it's not about basketball, is it, right? No, it's the horror thing. I think they made it into a show. All of these children no look way. at least twenty-four. How <laughs> does that show get an adaptation? It was so bad. 
maybe that's part of it. Copy image. Here you go. Enjoy. You know, Mazel. I hope you hope you love it. Boom. Oh. Sent it to you. What is this? Let me see. Yeah, that kind of looks like it. <laughs> ugh, God, okay. Well, you know, it could have been worse than the Death Note adaptation. That was... Ugh. Dude, I love the Death Note adaptation. I only saw it in Japanese because I didn't have it in English. But it was great. The live-action Netflix adaptation? Was it by Netflix? There was one on Netflix. Oh, right, right, the Japanese one. The Japanese one was actually good. They made an American version where they changed a lot of the plot. They yes. made it like an effing love story that was horribly written. There was some junk about a Ferris wheel and people dying by the end of it. It's just yes. like, none of this junk happened in Death No, What is this? I remember this. He was, he was like from like Sweden or something. Yeah. Light was I in like Europe or something. Yeah, it made no sense. It was so bad. I remember seeing maybe 20 minutes of it and being like, this isn't bad enough to love. It's not. Right. Alice in Borderland? <laughs> Dude. Yeah. Make me a trillionaire, guys. I want more seasons of Alice in Borderland immediately, please. Wait, that show. That show was so good. It's so good. Holy frick. It was, I would watch more Alice in Borderland. Mm. Holy frick. I want to know what fire. happens now with the cards. They had the card like, what's going to happen? Melly. Jesus. I couldn't take it. I read some of the stuff for the future because it's in writing already. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. I won't tell you what happens, but I'll tell you, Melody. The plot sounds really heckin' good. I think it just gets better. For the loot cast questions? No, 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 no. For Alice in Borderlands. What I like I read it? I read the manga or whatever <gasps> the frick that was ahead. The plot. I'm not gonna tell you the plot, of course, but I will tell you the plot looked really good for the future. Really? Yeah, so oh hopefully God. we get more of that show, but it sounded kind of banger. <laughs> Chat, do you know if it'll ever come back? Chat, do you know if my dad will ever come back? Yeah, will Fillion's dad ever come back? But more importantly, will they come back at the same time? <laughs> Wait, hey! Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry! <laughs> come on! Did they oh, just say God, that dude. it's coming out soon? Really? Alice is that a trademark or Borderlands 2022? Please, 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 Let's have and get it. Let's go! I'm so excited! Yeah. I legitimately okay. loved that show. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I thought it was pretty darn good. Bro, oh, oh, I'm so happy right now. I am I'm at a uh, oh, I'm at a 10. Oh. All time high, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Why don't we bring it down by by reading some of the horrible questions people have sent us? Because I'm seeing some doozies in here. All right, questions. How many have we answered? One? We didn't even what? answer that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe two. We might have done two. Imagine someone having put their whole mind, body, and soul into writing a question. They thought it through for like a five million years. Like 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 this question. Like I probably they probably put so much effort. Let me see. Um. Can you describe the smell of your armpits? Okay, well, probably... Maybe they didn't put effort into... <laughs> See, are you mad that my community cares enough to ask these questions? Yeah, that makes me feel really good about myself. Thanks, oh, Dad. Good. Yeah, they would probably buy an NFT of my armpit if they could. <laughs> I would. <laughs> what? Only if it's scratch and sniff. <laughs> what is going on? Wait, Holy me and the ch men chat are gonna share it? We'll mail it to each other like Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants? My <laughs> armpit is not for use. <laughs> Every month someone will write will write letters to each other about like, yeah, I have the armpit now. It smells great. It's the middle of the summer now. Um, you know, I'm <laughs> growing my hair out. <laughs> All right, I'll well, just answer your question. <laughs> um, oh, I like this. Does Fillion have an alter ego like Melware? Uh, I feel like I'm just like full time cringe, you know. Uh, I think my alter ego. Okay, this is like a wide, somewhat known phenomenon. Is that when I get tired, I get drunk, like mentally. I get, I start acting like I'm wasted. Um, I think you might know, right? And 
I legit, like, I can't even walk straight, I can't even talk straight, and I have done 24 hour streams before, but at the very end of the night, I was playing this Pokemon randomizer, and I got a Pokemon, I have named it, like, STD, and then I named another one Cream Puff, or it was a Cream Puff, so I named it Cream Pie, and I was just sitting there giggling about Cream Pies and my Poliwag named Blue Balls for, like, three hours straight at the end of the night. I was just like, come on, Cream Pie! You was about the hyper beam, and like my blue balls died. No, it was just so bad. Oh so, my I don't god. Say, yeah, I wouldn't say I'm an alter ego, but I definitely, uh, <laughs> I definitely, Bro. I definitely changed the switch. I flipped the switch. I get tired. I had an idea. I had an idea. I had an idea. I had an idea. Mm -hmm. Do you want to just get in a weird state of mind and and play like 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 uh chat Twitch plays Pokemon and just be horrible? <laughs> What does that mean? Like a weird state of mind? Like tired? Like or? you're tired and I'm drunk or crunk or whatever the hell. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we, and then wait, like we just commentate on Twitch Plays Pokemon? I love commentating, but I never find people to commentate with. I'll do it. Yeah, that sounds fun. It's a really good experiment, honestly. I love experimenting. Um, yeah, yeah. I think that's part of like, like on a serious note, like content diversity is like, you know, you do what works, right? You do like lewd cast, and for me, I do my you laugh, you lose. Mm -hmm. But you also experiment, like we did with the date show, for example. Exactly. Um, so I think that would be a fun experiment. We set up Twitch Plays Pokemon, and then we try to make it, since we're doing it in real time, we try to make a system that they actually can play intelligently, and then we go from there. That would be fantastic. I would love to do yeah. that. There's a lot. I love experimenting. Honestly, Twitch Plays Pokemon is how I actually found out about Twitch. The oh, first really? time. I That's I sick. I kept hearing it every day and every night just hearing all these loud internet sounds coming from a room and at a certain point it'd be like ah Twitch this is what it's called I hope it fails <laughs> 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 I found the source of the nonsense. <laughs> the sounds are in my dreams. I absolutely hate it so much. I actually, I actually, um, I, okay. So I, I kind of like drawing back in school. And I remember when Twitch Plays Pokemon came out, I didn't know what it was, but it sounded so cool. So I actually drew a bunch of the Pokemon with their names like there's an effing venomoth or venonat or something i don't know what it's called it was named like a a a t t v v v v v or something <laughs> like that i drew it and then i wrote its name right next to it and i drew like almost the entire pokemon roster from twitch plays pokemon um back then and i didn't even know what it was it just seemed like kind of a fun thing that was before i knew what twitch was i mean exactly it sounds like a really cool thing but if it doesn't right. stop because you are near otakus right yeah just, so just that there. would be sick I'm down. I'm down to, to try and commentate that. Let's see how it goes. I think that'd be fun as hell. Yeah, for sure. Jillian can draw. Dude, we're coming up with a lot of eyes or ideas. That's I like love kind ideas. Of sick. I, I, I was I, literally I, like, yeah, like last night I was brainstorming ideas. And I'm like, man, I can't think of anything cool right now. But we've already come up with like three stupid ideas. <laughs> Actually, a good time. Well, that's that's the joy of like meeting with people and stuff and discussing. You get weird ideas and stuff. <laughs> True! You just bounce the weirdness off each other and it's like an effing echo chamber of destruction until it evolves like a Pokemon. Exactly! <laughs> exactly! I so, like, you could be having having lunch with someone, you're like, oh, a content creator, and you're just eating, you're, you're eating a sandwich and you can't think of anything and you're like, oh, I didn't know you had talons. Okay, so let's think, how can we work with that? Like, right, it's right. Observational. It's so, it's so beautiful. The human mind is an enigma and I'm all here for it. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, okay, wait, 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 wait. What is this question? When is Philly getting a 2D model? Bro, what do you mean? I'm already 2D. Bro, literally, look how stacked her flapjacks are. This is a <laughs> two-dimensional creature. I'm already 2D, baby! What else do you need from me? <laughs> guys, 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 go touch her hair. Now touch the back of her head right now. Do it, do it, what? do it. What? You can't do it? It's almost like she's 2D. Oh, true! That's what you meant. Yeah, yeah, I'm a virtual person, too. Yeah, you <laughs> butt. Oh, yeah, the flatness <laughs> one. Oh, I, was like, I was like, what is this? Every Twitch plays VTuber? What's going on? Oh, God, that would be terrifying because everyone would be like, take off top or something. <laughs> ah! God, no! <laughs> Guys, if it was Twitch plays VTuber, what's the first thing you would do? Be honest. Oh, no, first thing to mind. 
sorry. All right, Twitch plays VTuber, guys. Type in chat, what would you do first off? First thing, Here first thing. Don't even think about it. Cut the fill in. I wouldn't want to touch her hair anyway, true. Open Bob. Open Bob, <laughs> open Bob, open Bob. Eat pants? <laughs> Graduate! Oh! No! Destruction! Smell pits. Feet. Oh. <laughs> Feet. Do a flip. Okay, you know what? I think do a flip would be the most optimized. Do a flip! I'll do a flip right now. Please, you please, please! Okay, please. okay, 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 yeah, yeah. Alright, let me put this bad boy over here, kick this chair out of the way. Let me get out of the way. Oh frick. Frick, I kicked the chair over too far. <laughs> Alright, okay, okay. Oh, let me put the chin strap on, put the chin strap on. Huh. Serious business. Huh? 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 Alright, here we go, here okay, we go. You ready, okay, Melody? Okay, okay. If okay. I die. I'm suing you. Wait, no. I, okay, well, I won't sue you. Uh, okay. Well, let's do this flip. Here we go. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> oh, frick. I did the party trick. Let's go. <laughs> it's so goofy. That's sick right. as hell. That's sick as hell. Let's go. It is ridiculous. Gymnastics. Yeah, wait, did I ever tell you about how I can do this stuff? You know? I assume Damn, you were abducted by spider monkeys as a child and raised in a spider monkey circus and... That's right. That's exactly right, Melody. <laughs> I was actually raised by Spider-Man himself. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I used to do parkour a long time ago. Of course. And, uh, yeah, it kind of just, it kind of just carried over from there. I so. mean, the tracks. Honestly, right. I'm jealous because I've always been like, man, that's the coolest thing ever. I'd love to do that. And then I tried it a few times and I'm like, I'm too scared. I'm scared <laughs> to jump a little high. Ooh. Yeah, I um, I remember I saw on YouTube there's this video of, um, what was it? It was like, it was Assassin's Creed in real life. It was filmed by some guy named like Devin Supertramp or something like that. They I were basically doing Mega Assassin's Mega Creed. Oh, sorry? Hmm? Mega 64? I don't know what that is. Oh, never mind. Sorry, continue. Sorry. All right. <laughs> yeah, so they were doing like Assassin's Creed parkour in real life and stuff. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And so then I went outside and tried it. It fell over a few times, but I kept working on it over the years. And, you know, like nowadays I could do a backflip off a wall. So it's pretty, it's pretty darn cool. God But that's basically what it all started. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why are you so impressive? God. Uh, I don't know. I'm just athletic. I don't know if that. <laughs> I'm just, I think that's the most of it. God damn. God damn. That's. So, uh, I'm a toaster and you're out like doing acrobatics. Would you ever do Cirque du Soleil? Yes, absolutely. So, actually, fun fact. I don't oh. think I've talked about this too much. Um, Before streaming, I, I always wanted to do something entertainment, but I never did. You know, I was always doing like more like sciencey stuff and like you know follow your career path and do whatever the frick you know but i always wanted to be in entertainment some way somehow so like i had a thought of like you know voicing over animes and stuff but i also had a thought of what if i was a stunt double for <sighs> actors in a movie and i realized like i could do that like for real for real for real and so like i feel like eventually if i didn't start streaming i would have started doing stunt double work for people Bro. and yeah, I thought that would have been so sick to do, you know, like, oh, that was me doing the stunts, right? And it's a pretty good way to, like, you know, be in a movie without being like, oh, yeah, you're the famous movie star. Because to me, it's like, I don't know, like, I've never wanted to be, like, famous or anything, but I did want to do, like, stuff that, like, I can look at that and say, that's so sick, and that was me, you know? <laughs> um, and also just, like, make people happy or blow their minds, so. That's, uh, yeah, a long time ago, I definitely wanted to do that. Dude, that's sick as hell. That's sick as hell. Huh? Yeah, but now I'm gonna be my own stunt double. Let's go. <laughs> that's true. You can, you, yeah. you, you can, you can, you can do a lot with a three-dimensional body. And you have a platform. Also true. You can make your own movies. <laughs> true. Well, I'm actually working on a music video. It's gonna be pretty cool when it comes out. But really? oh, it's a little bit away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can show you the preview actually after this. Not right now, but. I would love oh, to see that in. with my eyes only and not share it with anyone, especially <laughs> on smelly chat. Ew. Yeah, we're filming it in VR chat and um, we're trying to make it somewhat professional. We got like a small crew of like four people. So, oh, snap. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Yeah. Oh, well, I wish you luck. It sounds pog, my dear. Let's go. <laughs>
<laughs> so it's a person that smells like ass. Rude. Rude. You have no idea what my ass smells like. Um. <laughs> it smells like grapefruit because I use <laughs> I use perfume. Huh? It's just, nah, just like it's like yeah, I it's like I. Yeah, man, if Melody's butt smells like grapefruit from the perfume she uses. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, like, we don't grapefruit in here. We're over that meme, aren't we, chat? <laughs> the grapefruit noise demonstration. <laughs> I, re I remember seeing that stupid effing. You've seen the grapefruit YouTube video, right? Oh, but of course. The grapefruit technique is like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cooksy, have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm gonna stop there. I think that's enough pantomime for today. But holy frig, I, that video is so funny. It was the worst thing ever, I would say. Probably. <laughs> she just kept going too. It she was didn't stop for nobody. It was. It was so much. It was so much for my brain. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and it all started off with a grapefruit. Like, that one fruit is forever tarnished for the rest of its existence. As if being a bitter fruit wasn't bad enough. I know. If you're going to pass it in the grocery store and you're going to see some grapefruits, I'd say most people who are internet would just be like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, you're just like walking out the aisle like, pineapple, apple, pear, <laughs> carrot. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we're si we're learning we're learning fruits today, guys. A is for Fruit apple. Salad. Yummy, yummy, yeah, true. <laughs> B is for banana. What does G stand for? <laughs> Starts. Warbling. That's right, grapefruit. <laughs> That's it's like right. who's that Pokemon? <laughs> What's that Pokemon in aneurysm? Uh, uh I don't know, man. Frick. That's a little bit too far out for me. Oh God, a lot of these questions are too far out for me. Good Lord. Really? Oh, Let's yeah. see. Do you want to answer? Do you do you want to answer the twenty? We we were talking about number it, but 20? I don't think we ever got. Oh, number twenty. Because there were two <laughs> questions revolving around it. Sure, why not? We can answer that one. It says, "Chat, the question is, why is it called taking a dump? Shouldn't it be leaving a dump instead?" And that's a very good question. But in my opinion, I don't know, like... Right, they say she got a dump truck. You know? Exactly. So what does it actually mean? Like, what is this variable? If she has... Yeah. Like, she if she has a dump truck, and you're taking like a, a dump truck, right? That's basically abduction. I'm just, it's like, we, we, we could, well, like, contextually, we can figure this out. Like, girls right. got dumps like a truck. So dump... And don't be his butt. Don't be his butt. I've heard this a lot. Wait. Wait, so wait. It's called a dump truck because it takes dumps? <laughs> wait. Is that? No way, dude. What? It's, it's, she's got an epic dump truck for taking dumps. What? She has a big <laughs> ass, so she's shitting herself? Is that yeah. the implication? <laughs> Man, she takes big dumps with that dump truck. God, what is that, Look man? Look how, how big her ass is. I can only imagine the destruction. Please <laughs> tell me there's something besides that. It's gotta mean something else, It's gotta right? be something else. That does we not seem right. We gotta have our right. best scientists on that. There's yeah. no way. We're a science team. Help us figure this out. <laughs> Trucks are big what? cars. That is true. Trucks are big cars. <laughs> Dump truck Wait a doesn't second. Ass is so fat that it is the size of a truck. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's not as bad. That's not it. The second half of the question is, shouldn't it be leaving a dump instead? So the question is, why are we taking it instead of leaving it? That's a good question. Taking. I don't know. Ask Mia Khalifa. All right. <laughs> Let's pick a different question. Okay. 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 There. 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 Damn it, I can't do that one. I don't have the song on me. There's a lot of good ones. It's hard to pick. Wait, what is... Okay, Melly, I'm gonna find a Twitter message from a long time ago if I can. Uh, let me see. Give me one from sec. Whom? A dude. <laughs> I will ask something or answer something in between. Okay, cool, cool. I don't know if I'll be able to find it. There's a lot of DMs on Twitter. You're fine. Thank 
your time. All right. What is... Uh, is there... Is there a real life or fictional couple who would... That would like to join to become a throuple? Are you asking to for dating? Go on like... Tender or something or bumblefuck. I don't know. This is not a what? That's like the laziest way to find romance is asking questions on Ludcast. Hello, I'd like to be in a thruple. Can you any anyone interested? This is and they can't even see this. I'm asking for you. That's lazier than like putting it in a newspaper. No one's going to see that. What? What kind of what? <laughs> <laughs> I, I what? Where do we sign up? Oh, okay, there you go. I guess you found someone. I hope you have things in common. All right, Melody. I have this question. It says, what was the weirdest text message you've ever gotten? I don't know if this is the weirdest, but this has been one of my favorite. I don't know if I've talked about this on my stream before either, but I guess this is technically Ludcast, so you might as well get it. Mm. Um, there's a dude on Twitter who is DMing me all the time. He sent his first message, he said, Hey, Fillion, big fan. You know, that's such a nice message. I really appreciate the guy. I gave him a heart back on his message. Mm -hmm. His message after that, it says, you know, nice and normal, it says, Fillion, can you watch me jerk off for $50? And of course, I'm like, what, what am I supposed to do with that? No, of course not. So I don't respond, right? A week goes by, you know, my life goes on. I get another DM from this guy. It just says, $100. <laughs> And now the offer's getting mighty tempting. I feel like I'm on an episode of Shark Tank right now, right? <laughs> this dude just wants me to see him jack off. And, and I don't respond. Another week goes by. He's up to $200 now on the pot. He's been thinking about this for a couple weeks now. And here's the thing. I just don't respond. So he starts hitting me with the please fill in. Please. He starts like, you know, wallowing in his self-pity as he throws me $200 to watch him jerk off. I don't respond. I'm just watching the effing chaos going on in my DMs. But this is where the plot twist happens. He comes back like the effing Avengers, baby. Like the Avengers. He says $400 on some random effing Sunday evening. And I couldn't believe what was going on. This man just doubled his effing budget on the spot. And there's only one option to do, Melody. What? I just ghosted him. Alright, so anyway, what? but the story is not over because after that, a, he, a couple months went by, he didn't DM me again. He sent one final message, Melody, his final offer. It wasn't $400. It was $250. <laughs> it went down. They said it don't go down, but it do. My man brought me down from 400 to 250. I mean, god dang, you must have started watching Shy Lily's stream. That was crazy. What? I don't know. So, chat, moral of the story is don't trust these men. All right, $400 ain't nothing. 250 ain't it either. God dang it, dude. I, 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 he must have invested in like, like, like a gamer stock and he's on hard times. Yeah, man, I think Ethereum crashed on him. Unlucky. Oh god, please, no, my Ethereum. Yeah, so basically, basically, yeah, I went from 400 <laughs> to 250, and then he goes to me. I was so sad. I'm really sorry to hear that. I, 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 like, it was a compelling offer. See, I would have went full Shark Tank. I would have been like, okay, well, what's really, what, 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 how do you see this business transaction, like, like going past a w one pop? Like, what, what's your, what's your, your, your plan right here? Right. I'd be like, like how long you been in business for, and what are your metrics? He's gonna be like, five inches. I'll be like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> Who's your target audience? Have you like have you tried this before and it had done good sales? Like what, what <laughs> what's the situation? Here? Also, what's your PayPal? <laughs> Dude, I I people can't take a joke because I've responded to the some of those before. Um, yeah, yeah, like in the very beginning, people are like, "Do you do pacot ratings?" And that's right. very common in my genre. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, I do. Why not? So I was doing them, but people didn't didn't seem to appreciate that I was going on Google Images trying to find my favorite barnyard cocks, you know, like, <laughs> like, like roost, like, like high action, and it had like the watermark on it that said like Getty Images. And <laughs> you, I, just, you just set them a rooster back, it like looks kind of like this. <laughs> yeah, 
and I was sending full paragraphs of my thoughts of these majestic birds. I was spending like 20 minutes on all of them and people didn't appreciate it. I rated it based on its appearance. I even apologized. Like, I mean, I'm sure the bird is more than the sum of its parts, the sum of its plumage, but no. I was learning about birds for this week. I was learning about avian facts and no one appreciated it. Horrible. That's so sad. You don't negotiate with horny people or terrorists, so. I was, just, but <laughs> I was trying unlucky. to meet them halfway. <laughs> That's so goofy. Yeah, I, I feel like, I feel like, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you're that down bad to actually send it to someone. You just send you back a picture of a rooster and be like, yeah, it looks kind of like this, bro. <laughs> oh, God. Like, like some people were into you calling like a 0 out of 10, but I don't think anyone was into you saying it looks like an effing rooster. <laughs> I, I, I feel bad. I never gave anyone less than a 6 out of 10. Never, never gave like, Aww. Thanks, Nella. I really appreciate that. All right, look at that, look at that. Men, don't let your crown slip, all right? <laughs> Only one person did I ever give a five, and that's because he was a horrible, mean person. Hmm, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, if Wasn't you're nothing to do with his uh, rooster. Well, see, it, it, he sent me a lot of rooster pictures. I did not expect that, that was surprising. Oh, really? But then he sent me his other hobbies, and I learned a lot that day that I didn't really need to learn, but I'm more knowledgeable because of it. I should have given him mm. a three. Yeah, exactly. See, see what I do is if they send me a picture of their rooster after being rude, I would have Googled for, you know, a bigger rooster and just sent it back <laughs> to them. And just That's that's all I sent back. That's it. <laughs> it may be even like, you know, a rare Siamese African-American rooster, you know? <laughs> oh, wait, are you talking about penis? <clears throat> Uh, no, 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 of course not. I was not. talking about actual birds. I'm sending I love birds roosters. to these people. I actually, I eat at Taco Bell, or make, wait, make the Chick-fil-A all the time. Haha. <laughs> what? It's okay, we're I on like my chicken. channel. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> I would just send them back a bigger pee-pee and just not respond. It's like, it's <laughs> honestly, if you're on my channel and you went like, like, like some IRL stuff and you're just like, penis, I'm the one that would get in trouble. And you could get on your channel after like, man, that was, that was, that was a goof and a gaff. Anyway. Man, what a silly situation. Melody got banned. I can't believe that. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm so crazy. Anyway, guys, laugh or lose. What's up? You just send them a bigger pee pee and be like, here's mine. <laughs> oh, frick. Melody, are you willing to smell your armpit? This question is asking for it. Okay. All right, all right, I'll go first, you go second. Okay. All right, I'll smell my armpit live, here we go. <clears throat> it smells like gym socks. Oh, God, frick. <laughs> I regret like... this question already. It smells like my dad's disappointment. <laughs> We're over two, baby! All right, well, that was kind of bad. God dang it, dude. All right, so note to self, never sniff my armpit again. <laughs> what are these questions, man? All right, let's see what else we got here. Okay, That's weird. 88's weird. That's a... Huh? Oh. Perhaps they're role-playing? If you suddenly became a few billion dollars richer, how would uh -huh, that affect your smex life? Would you acquire the services of several ugly bastard pool boys? He's writing erotica up in here. What the frick? He's All right, here's my situation, right? If I was down bad and I was a billionaire, you got you know those machines that have like the ro they rotate, you know, to go back and forth. What do you like you a know? lazy lazy Susan? Like, I don't know what that means, like the sex machines, like they have to rock oh! back and forth because they're spun by a wheel. Yeah, like a, 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 a piston thing. Yeah, a piston machine. Right, I would just hook it up to an effing Ferris wheel and see what happens, you know? Wait. I think, I think if I could afford that, what? Wait, how would, but no, wait, how would, 
How? Cause like, cause like when the thing it turns in a circle to yeah. go back and yeah, yeah, forth. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I don't know okay, the epic okay. science behind it, like pistons and junk. You know, <laughs> you just hook up a carnival Ferris wheel instead of an actual circle gear. I, I, I mean that's demolition level. That's knocking over buildings. Right. I mean, I might get obliterated, but I, I would be the first person to say they did that. I mean, you're the first person to literally become anime, because as you know, the inside of every anime girl is just a tube, you know? From the top True. to the bottom. Uh, yep. You would become that. <laughs> Congratulations, I'd be inside out by the end of that. <laughs> yeah, right? It, 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 goes, it goes in once, and then out, and then it's like all your, your inside <laughs> Oh frick! Uh, you know those like those like uh, those, what do you call those like poppers? You like flip them inside out. You put them on your table. Oh, that be me after. And after like five minutes, I kind of just like pop at back outside out or whatever the frick. Dude, it's kind of like like radio and stuff. How well, they'll play some songs and they used to have bad words on it, like fuck. And then every week they'd bleep it and then they'll unbleep it because they're figuring out like what's normal now. And if that was on yeah. TV right after her death, it'd be like, okay, so we saw a lot today on national TV. So I guess the threshold has been broken. Now, now you can say anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically at that point. You were changing uh, history, being a living sock puppet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, frick. Yeah, when they say I want to wear you like a sock puppet, they meant it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm me, and I'm not interested in that Ferris wheel contraption. Very bizarre. Dang. Uh, perhaps... It's always the virgins, huh? <laughs> the virgins are the, are the most creative, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like that, it's like being I'm in being jail. You have time to head. think. <laughs> what? True. <laughs> Wait, that's so true. <laughs> You're like, as soon as I get out of here, I'm going to go to town, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that is the most accurate ex metaphor I've ever heard in my life. Why do you just describe my entire sex life with jail? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, that's God my damn. clever of the week. That's the one. Boop. Or sorry, of the month. That's my clever of that's the month. That's a good one. Thank that's you. That's a good one. I liked it. Yeah, Alright, what else we, we got here? One. Okay. Um, <laughs> no question, just love and support. Aw, thank you. That's nice. Oh, uh, here's a question. Hmm? Fillion has a tendency to flash her underwear a lot. Does she A, not care, B, is embarrassed about it, three, thrilled by the Coomer attention? Oh. Um, the reality is, right, okay. I'm curious. Hear me out. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. There are, this model that I was using in the previous mint model, they don't have pants. I never chose that. <laughs> but the problem is, it became part of the branding after a little bit. So now I'd feel weird if I did have pants on 24-7 instead of just a skirt, right? So, I don't really know what to do about it. I didn't choose the life, the life chose me. You know, you take an epic model with a skirt and then you do flips. Like, you can figure out the rest, right? It, it honestly started out as an accident, but now it's just part of the stream. So, I kind of like, I, I don't want to cater to it. I'm not thrilled about it. In fact, we ban people for being weird about it. Mm. And then also... I, I put on pants sometimes if there's too many coomers in chat. I just can't take it. So the reality is it's just part of the it's just part of the model and now it's part of the brand and it's still it's really embarrassing to me. Can but you, it's can, it's something, you know. Can you do Bane and be like I didn't choose this? <laughs> what? I didn't choose this life. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It I kinda just tripped and fell into it, just like I tripped and fell into being a VTuber. That's fair. That's fair. Wait, I feel. Did I ask your origin story before? I can't remember. I don't know. Like, like, uh, like how I started with streaming and being a VTuber. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I can tell it pretty short. So a long time ago, I played VR chat, and my friend played on a Minecraft server. Oh, yeah. I wanted to play on their Minecraft server, so I was like, "Yo, bro, let me on your Minecraft server. We can hang out." And he's like, "Sorry, if you want to be on my Minecraft server, you gotta be." A content creator, because this is a content creator server, you know, kind of cringe, whatever, you know. But I was like, okay, I don't care, I'll go live, nobody's gonna watch. I went live, and there were like two or three people watching my stream, and I would do that for a couple Sundays in a row. Eventually, I'm like, I see people, they put like cute images in the corner of their stream. So I took a picture of my VR chat model that I was using at the time, and I put in the corner. And people said, you know, they came into my stream, like, oh, your model's frozen, it's not working. I'm like, what the frick is just a picture? 
But then it gave me the inspiration. I'm like, wait a second. I've seen videos of people being anime girls online. Why don't I do that too? So I downloaded this random software called Luppet. I ripped my model from the game and then illegally uploaded it into uh, Luppet. And then I'm like, here it is. This is my VTube model. So in the middle of my stream, I just randomly turned on the model and I was a VTuber. I didn't even know what a Gargura was at that time. I didn't know what Melody was at that point. I didn't know anything. I was just being a VR chatter except playing other video games. And then people told me that was a VTuber. So You're a VTuber. that was a, yeah, that was the origin story. It was kind of, I kind of just like, oh, I guess I'm a VTuber. And on a serious note too, this kind of spawned some like weird, like, you know, like the whole like dream face reveal and junk. Mm. Like for me, I never chose to be a VTuber, but now it's like, you know, do I stay a VTuber forever? I kind of want to do like IRL streams and stuff, you know, but I also don't want to get effing dream face revealed ratio. And so it's like, I, I don't know what to do. Honestly, <laughs> the, well, I mean, even, even in, 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 even in our group and stuff, like some people, I, I, I think what's really more common with VTubers is like, they were human people before, like maybe they did like swimsuit modeling or maybe they were cosplayers and then eventually right. became VTubers so you can be more interchangeable, like it's less scary. With other people um, showing their hands and then also cooking streams have become more popular. Right. Um, I don't see an issue with it. Some people will obviously complain because I mean, we're all hard up for, for anime characters. Yeah. Which is based as hell. Um, <laughs> but I don't really see an issue with it. It's really up to your comfortable, comfortability, comfort, fuck! <laughs> what would you want to do with, with a flesh body? Dude, acrobatics? so much. Yeah, like, um, like imagine all the stupid stuff I do with acrobatics instead of in real life. That could be fun. You could show but, up like, at Drumsy's house. Yeah, I could just go to random people's house. I could go on like someone's stream and actually be there in person, you know? I could do P.O. Box streams. I could just walk down the street and make content out of it. Like when I'll be on VR chat, I'm just making content out of an effing virtual stick, you know? It's it's like literally nothing. And I feel like I could do some really good IRL streams and have a lot of fun with it. And uh, I think it would keep streaming fresh for me, Uh, so. I don't know. I think about it a lot, but I don't have any decisions to make on it. Especially because, like you said, a lot of people were cosplayers, or they were swimsuit models, or they did public stuff where there's pictures of them online. Mm. For me, there's nothing out there. I don't even have a Facebook account. I don't you even know? know what you look like. Ooh. I'm corpse level of just like no photos, basically, right? And so it's like, for me, it's like, why would I ruin that? Because I am a private person, you know? So it's like, it's such a hard decision to make on like a really... I don't know, kind of like somber note, but I've been thinking about it a lot, so I don't know. Probably yeah, not going to change anything unless I'm certain. No, that's fair. I guess the, the, yeah, you are corpse level. I guess like the only time you were really, <laughs> I'm going to write you in chat. What? I'm going to write you in chat. Okay, you're going to DM me? All right, bet. Ah. <sighs> It's like, it's such a weird thing because it's like, I never chose to be faceless. I kind of just tripped into it and never did like a face or a photo or anything. And now it's just like, well, their expectations are so high. Actually true, Melody. <laughs> did you <laughs> so say true. that? That's, that's, that's actually how it, the yeah. worst thing that someone can do. And I did it in a second and I thought about it for days. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's a weird phenomenon. Uh, I'm yeah. not really sure. I don't feel like getting called ugly by people on the internet. <gasps> yeah. So it is what it is. What else we got? It's not mm -hmm. fair because so many VTubers are sexy-licious. And it's just like... People don't know how sexy we are. <laughs> okay, I respect that. I respect that. Yeah, I feel like... um. I don't know. I feel like a lot of it is about like your personal confidence, and I yeah. feel like VTubers like generally like they're out here rocking in their anime avatars. Like, mm. I feel like confidence is part of the package deal for the most part. So, well, follow your heart, my dear. True. Okay, let's see. There's so many questions. How many are watch there? Behind the scenes. Oh. That's silly. Okay. Wait. Ooh. Hmm? Would you rather a cat girlfriend at whatever level on the furry scale you prefer, or a cat <laughs> girlfriend, a cat you can hang out with whenever you're grilling and will grill for you? W wait, what? so like an actual, would you rather have a pet cat or would you rather have a cat girl girlfriend? But wait, what's grilling? 
I don't know what that means. Uh, maybe your cat's just got nothing chef's hat on. He's just out here flipping burgers for you. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm into that. Absolutely. I don't know. It's that thing, the Garfield of hamburgers. Like, <gasps> I don't know. I mean, if the Garfield's yeah. nice, absolutely. Right. Here's the thing, though, right? This question basically asks, do you want to be a billionaire or do you want to have a pet cat? Because, <gasps> my God. Do you know how much money people would pay just to see your cat girl girlfriend? A million dollars, chat. Elon Musk would sell the entirety of Tesla just to bow down and kiss the feet of your cat girl girlfriend. I and he'd that. give up all his flamethrowers, right? I mean, yes, times a thousand. I kind of want that surgery where you have cuter ears, but that's probably stupid. Oh, the elf ears? Yeah, it's not a cat yeah. though, but it's like cute. I should, that'd be dumb. That'd be dumb and expensive and wasteful, but I think about it. Yeah, I feel like getting a nose job, TBH. Ooh, cool. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. Yeah, you ever wonder, like, I'm, I wonder if my my extremities could be sharper or more winged, you know? The, the, the marvels of science. Right. I feel like in the future, it'll be like, you know, you're having, you step into a character customizer, except it's like actually you in a few minutes, you know? <gasps> It's like, oh yeah, you want the effing uh, rounded ears, you want the the, the, the the cat girl tail attached, <laughs> not the butt plug edition, you want the actual tail. Like, yeah. <laughs> it'd be kind of sick, I feel like that's how it'll be in the future. You're like playing effing Cyberpunk 2077, you're like, yeah, I want the car washer penis, like... <laughs> Dude, it's just, it's, it's not whatever. fair. Why have a tailbone? It's just like, it's your body, like, like the greatest tease is still having a tailbone because it's like, ah! Dude, true! And the worst part is, you can smash your tailbone. Yeah. And it hurts. Yeah. Like, what the frick? Ask Adriana. Also, ask me. Holy frick. I it's destroyed my tailbone. No! Yeah. You destroyed That's your right. tailbone, said the yep. virgin. No, 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 I actually did. I'm not even kidding. Okay, listen. It's so, like, you know, like, you, you know, Dragon Ball Z, right? They have mm. the people that can, like, transform into, like, gigantic space monkeys, yeah. right? They're Saiyans or whatever. If you cut off their tail, they can no longer do that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All I'm saying is, basically, my tail was cut off by a piece of hard floor. What's hard floor? I was going to get a can of Coke for some people at a party, uh -oh. and I slipped on a puddle of water on stone cold tile. I flipped up in the air like an effing cartoon character, landed smack on my tailbone, shattered to pieces, obliterated within my own body, and I stood up for a second and went down to my knees. I folded over like a RuneScape character, about to lose all their items to a random dude in the wilderness, and I just died. And I stayed there for like two minutes while people could potentially see me if they looked through the window, but nobody saw me as I rolled over in pain for two minutes. <laughs> Oh <laughs> and after that was done, I didn't know my tailbone was shattered. I just got up, I gave them their drinks, and then I told them, I don't feel so good, <laughs> Mr. Stark, you know? And they got me x-rayed uh, a few days later, and they found out that my tailbone literally looked like someone tried to tie-dye my insides. <laughs> So <laughs> it was it was decimated and it eventually reformed, I think, somehow, but I think it's kind of deformed now, so whenever I do sit-ups it kinda hurts. But oh I couldn't God. sit straight for like three months. Oh my god. Yep. So on the scale of bones I've broken, I've broken my wrist, I broke my foot from running running too much, and I broke my tailbone. Like, 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 like. You can't sit up well. You type with two thirds of the keyboard. You, like, ah. yeah. I think you're getting a mental picture. You're putting it together, Melody. <laughs> I think you're getting a good read on the situation. So basically, give me a couple more shares of streaming. I'm gonna be a paraplegic using TTS messages or something like. <laughs> when people say get wrecked, you're like, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on uh, yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm already wrecked, baby. Felin <laughs> is truly a gremlin. Yeah, I guess if her tail is going three different ways. Yeah. I mean, that also funnels up with a question someone asked. They said, what is the worst injury you've ever gotten on stream? I do a lot of flips. I fall over a lot. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, chat. The worst injuries I really ever get are like some bruises. And it's really not that bad. I get them like around my knees sometimes. That's about it. Um, one time I sprained my ankle doing a front handspring. But that's... That's it. It's really not bad at all. Wow. Just super safely. Yeah. I, I feel like since I started weird. streaming, I've gotten injured even less, which is kind of interesting. Really? Yeah, because I, I only do things in a controlled environment now instead of being an idiot outside. Fair enough. I 
don't, yeah, I don't, since streaming, I've gotten hurt several times. Like, badly. <laughs> How? What? On stream? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How? And I know what you're thinking, chat. It was not the worst. No. It was in the first few months. Two separate things happened. Um, the first one, what is it called? Like, I thought something, I thought I was dying. I think it's, wait, let me look at the name. I think it, wait, occur in the, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. The first one was the stress with um that person. From early <laughs> days, literally, I got a hernia. What? <laughs> what? From the really? stress. I had to see doctors. Yeah, and I'm like, that's not fair. I'm not an old man. <laughs> Wait, how does a hernia even work? Isn't like a hernia when like your guts fall into your ball sacks? Right? What it felt like. Okay, well. <laughs> There's like what? a how protrusion. Does it work? I was like limping all the time and like walking very specifically because my right oh. side just was all just horrible. Like sleeping, horrible. I had to wait for it to go away on its own. It's a tear in the muscle wall. Yep, 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 yep. yep, yep, yep. Oh. Wait, I can get a hernia too? I mean, I got it, so I don't see why. I don't want my guts in my nutsack. I didn't want my guts in my nutsack either, but I was very oh. stressed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I had my guts in my nutsack, and it just hadn't happened before. I didn't know it could happen, and it was... They say butts to nuts when you line up. We're having doing guts to nuts. <laughs> <laughs> guts to nuts. <laughs> Wait, I thought that could be an epic expression, honestly. Guts Except like, nuts. you know, it just me it just more vanilla, you know? <laughs> Dude, I love that. I love that. That's a great scene. Hey little baby, let me whisper in your ear. I wanna be guts and nuts to you before the end of the year. <laughs> she was so stressed she grew in nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, freak dude. Oh. Between Philly and Melody, who is the top and who is the bottom? Listen, chat, I listen to Andrew Tate. I'm the top G. It's already obvious on my face. I'm a bottom bitch. Okay, well, there you go. That was settled pretty easily. <laughs> I got to lie and Melody got to tell the truth. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. All right. I'm not That's lazy. I'm just a sub. True. Um, do you like water sports, IRL, or just in hentai? Wait, I've never seen anyone go effing wakeboarding in hentai. What? What are they reading? <laughs> I, I went kneeboarding. I've done wakeboarding. It's really fun. I've even... I went surfing one time. That was really hard, but it was also really fun. Um, water skis are really hard, too. But I've tried pretty much all of it. I've never seen any, like, jujitsu jin with it or hentai. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Have you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, where are you finding that? <laughs> I mean, we, we have shows like, um, 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 like, like Free and Haikyuu and stuff. You know, there, there's gonna be an anime. Yeah, there's no hentai thing. unless you Google it. But like, it's not in the show. I mean, you should probably just Google hentai water sports and then turn off the filter and you'd probably find it. Fine. Let me see. Let me just put the camera over here. All right. All right, I'm gonna Google right now. Let me see. Okay. All right. Take your time. Hentai waters. Wait, 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 that's not a wakeboard. <laughs> wait, that's not a jet ski at all. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> There's water everywhere. <laughs> what am I? Why is there a horse involved? What is this? Bro, there's that thing, tiny goblins too. This is. Oh, I love oh. the goblins. I love the goblins. Why is one 4K HD Ultra Anime Edition Deluxe? What is this? <laughs> this one's pooping. Okay. All right. Okay. Ah. I get it now. I get it. I get it. Okay. I had a friend that could not, didn't know the term for squirter and was foreign. So he kept Googling uh -huh. fountain girls and couldn't find it. 
the frick is a fountain girl? Is that like another word? Cause he could he couldn't he didn't know the English. Or... Oh, I see. <laughs> Mel, you're ruining her innocence. I am so sorry. I I am so sorry. <laughs> we must protect you. Where's the normal question? <laughs> oh frick, dude. Shouldn't have cry yourself to sleep. Are you happy with yourself, chat? Are you happy? I have research to do after this stream. That's crazy. Wait, you're doing research after the stream? Uh, yeah, with the Wii Remote. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, we love your innocence. No, I'm ruining. No. Oh, uh, there's a normal no. thing. There's normal stuff. There's normal stuff. Um, 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 if I put soap on my smooth brain, will it slide out of my eye socket? Gross! Okay, what's the what weirdest place? That? You... No! <laughs> what? What is that question? I guess it's just in time for Halloween. Oh, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what... What's Rexon? I don't know what that is. Um, what's a dude? What's a dude? How yeah, he um, rose to me so hard one time oh. that I literally had to ban him from my stream. Whoa. Ban. Yeah. Hardcore. I'm sorry. Yeah, he was just, he was, it was like, I said like, we're gonna be roasting Philly today, and my man cooked me alive. <gasps> I was like an epic chicken by the end of that junk. <laughs> it's like, oh, you ever seen like those cartoon chickens where they got the effing chef's hats on the legs and it's like nice and browned up and it's just sitting on the plate? Yeah. That, that was, that was me right after oh, he was done roasting me. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh god, I'm sorry. You got wrecked, yeah. son. Speaking of roasting, he made a joke about me getting spit roasted, so you know he went in. <laughs> god, now I'm hungry. You're talking about all these chicken and kebabs and shit. Oh man. Dude, I'm hungry too. I, I had some Mediterranean the other day. It was oh. so good. Have you heard of tzatziki before? I love tzatziki sauce. I have it in my fridge. Dude! I discovered that for the first time a few months ago, all right? It was so good! And now I get tzatziki whenever I can. Do you ever have it's tahini? Like, um, what is that? T tahini? Tahini and tzatziki? Tahini? <laughs> no. I just know that hummus sucks and tzatziki's good. What? Hummus is great. Yeah. You just haven't had the no, right one. No, it's not. No! It's it tastes like chickpeas. It's kind of bad. <laughs> I mean, it should taste like chickpeas as it is made of them. Exactly, and that's where I draw the line. Mm. <laughs> Wait, someone just asked this question. They just say, yo, fill in. How is life as a virgin? <laughs> Thanks, bro. How is it? You doing, you doing know, good? It's good. I put my socks on one foot at a time, and uh, that's about it. <laughs> the government send you, like, extra money is like, a condolences? No, they just sent me mean letters like, you're still a virgin <laughs> idiot. Are you seriously watching hentai by yourself? <laughs> I mean, I mean, a disability check, no! <laughs> See, the thing is though- They just sent me a disability check! That's really signed funny. Signed by Joe Biden. That's so- <laughs> Dear Fillion, or yeah, love Joe Biden. Dear Fillion, it's come to my attention that you're still a virgin, so here we have attached an apology note a condolences note and twenty-five dollars to Chili's. Love, thanks, Joseph Biden. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, Biden. Oh, very dude. <laughs> All right. What else we got here? Let's do like a couple more. Probably do like a couple more. Cool. Is there any music that eroticizes you? Does that mean like that turns you on? What is that? Oh, eroticize apparently is my language means to become aroused. To cause yeah, so, emotion. okay, wait. So, is there a music that that arouses you, Melody? A, a what? A music? Is there a music that arouses you? Yeah. Uh, I like electronic dissonance for... That 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 can that can turn on my my brain hole a bit where I hear those oh. strange sound like nine inch nails something about that sort of shut up okay fine corpse right there corpse corpse has anything been by way. him and I am awake <laughs> ten and two the, my hands are at ten and two all of my my neurons are are firing anything by corpse. That's crazy! Holy frick! Something all right. about, something about it. My yeah, God. I think for me, uh, I think sea bat. Sea bat? <laughs> Wait, do you not know sea bat? I don't know everything. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. There's this song. Okay, there was this Reddit post, right, about this dude, 
You should play C-Bat real quick. You should look it up. Okay, one um, second. Yeah, yeah. While you look it up, I'll tell you the story. Bring There's it. this dude on Reddit, okay? Mm. He told his uh entire the entire world that he had been banging his girlfriend for two years to the beat of that song. He was thrusting to the number on that song. Wait, is this the... Hold on. Is it playing? I can't hear it. Let me see. Oh, it is. Yes, yes it is. Here's the intro melody. Here it is. Are you ready? Oh, God. Imagine this. That's your love life summarized in five seconds. <laughs> I don't even know it's possible. Is he doing like this? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, so anyway. I that song, song, pretty pretty good one. Yeah, yeah. That's what the little cat dancing. I I heard it was from a Reddit thing where that that was exactly. His sex Dude, Batman couldn't have gone that confession out of me. <laughs> Dude, if if I had a partner, <laughs> nice. If I had a partner and that's the music they put on just once, like, I think like, oh, you're a serial killer. You're Dexter, right. and one day what I'll be like next. Okay. Oh, so you're a virgin, you know? It's, it's, it's like it's only one of the two options. If you didn't have things song to make the beat for you, holy frick! That 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 I that you won't last four seconds playing this C bat. Oh god! <laughs> oh god! Oh, that song makes a great contraceptive. True. I feel I feel so <laughs> so not horny. So we nailed it. That was it. Um, imagine being into like flashing lights and super romantic, and then right before he's about to bust, Seabag comes on, and you're just like, no, no, pull out, not to this song. <laughs> and then on the other hand, then it's corpse, and it's like it's like the Hoover Dam, but you keep trying to put it back together with 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 duct tape, and it's really it's barely you can barely hold it back and then quartz walks in like hey what's up and it just and it floods the earth it's too late <laughs> or already dead grab grab yeah. a canoe corpse corpse husband has entered entered the ring <laughs> grab a canoe <laughs> oh no all right let's yes. do one more question okay. let's do one more do you want to pick it i don't know what else would be good here how about we each do one and we walk away pre Restraining order, because I'm sure you're gonna okay. want one after. Cool, sounds good. Uh, someone type the letter E. The answer is yes. All right, what else we got here? Okay, okay. No okay. question, just love and support. Cringe. Aww. All right, what else we got here? Oh, we both reacted. <laughs> <laughs> and two kinds of people. Aw, cringe. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, My question from me to you is this. Uh -huh. Um. Will we be able to punch the sun one day asking for a friend? Uh, well, depending on if you're a father, you might be able to punch the sun already. Uh, <laughs> but that would get you a restraining order. Uh, in other news, I think we can punch the sun, uh, but the only problem is you can only punch it once. Oh, so, yeah. it depends on if that one punch is worth it for you. Depending on whether or not you watch anime, the answer might be yes. One punch! One punch! Up. All right. <sighs> All right, Melody. I'm actually kind of curious about this one. Uh oh. Have you ever made a prank call to someone you don't know? Yep. Really? What? How? How do you have the confidence for that? I mean, I'm not a confident person. I just sort of do things. Yeah, but you call up a random number and just try to prank them. Yeah. How? I could never! <laughs> I feel bad prank calling my own friends! I mean, I. I. It was pretty obvious, too. Because it was like, I don't remember what it was, but it was on the same vein of like, it was your refrigerator running. But so, pretend it was that, and this was me. Okay. Ring, mm -hmm. ring, ring. Ring, ring, ring. Hello! Ring. Hi! Hey, what's up? Hello, it is. It. Hello? I am a adult, and. I want sick. to know. I'm a maintenance. It'd be really bad if you were a kid. Yeah, that'd be terrible. But I'm I'm a maintenance, and I want to know if you're if you're <laughs> if you're <laughs> if you if you're, huh? uh, ref, ref, refrigerate refrigerator is on. Ma'am, I'm doing tech support for an effing scam company. What are you calling me about? 
I... Because it... Cause it's... Do you know who I am? We will find your IP and we will call you incessantly until we steal all of your money. You I'm hear me? Sorry. I'm That's sorry. That's what I thought. I'm all right. sorry. Now you won't call me back again. Or my name is Rodriguez Mandango. <laughs> that was fun. That was That's... actually a real good prank call, Melody. That was great. Thank you. I think we both killed it equally. April. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm super tired. I want to. How long did I survive for? You survived for two hours and twenty-two minutes. That's not bad. I'll take that. I'll take that, dude. Some people could be like an hour, and it's like my. Uh, that's my constitution. It can get to one hour, and 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 I I did my best, and that's absolutely valid. You did two and a half. That is very long. I am impressed with you. Let's go. Fillion All is right, not I'll take a that. one pump chump. Fair enough. Thank you, <laughs> VTuber Fillion, for being on Ludecast Podcast with me tonight. Would you like to plug yourself for my audience? Hola, Watashi wa cringe. <laughs> All right, that's it. Let's go. Uh, can we put her, her socials in the chat, please, dear moderators? And Catch me at twitch.tv slash dream not found. <laughs> Love you. Okay, I will be right back, chat, to send some thank yous and stuff. I'm gonna see her off, and I will be right back. Bye, guys. It was really fun hanging out. Goodbye. Now I have that song stuck in my head. <laughs> Hi! Hello! Hi! She said she's working on her restraining order. So, yeah, I'll keep you posted. Um, Matt saying they'll sing Siva. Yes, I am. Man, there's no sexier series of sounds. Sexier series of sounds, sexier series of sounds, sexier, sex, sexier series of s Fuck! Should I have described hearing Corpse's voice like 
me being the Hoover Dam imploding on impact with the sounds from his throat. That probably was too much. I regret that. But besides that, I had a lot of fun today. Like the fucking Hoover Dam. Sorry, sorry, I'm back. Hello. Um, my God, like, all of my furniture, like, I could return nothing. The warranty. My my iPhone, like, that shit is jailbreaked. Destroyed. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm good now. I'm good now. Hmm? What? What? Ah, <laughs> oh, bitch. Jailbreak my phone. Imagine if Corp showed up right now. If he showed up right now, I would log offline just immediately. Just close, close OBS, turn off my computer, and just cry. Cry into my legs and rock. <laughs> I wouldn't make it to the shower floor. It would be right here on the rug. <laughs> Hi, corpse. Wait, no, don't you dare. Don't you fucking, don't, don't. Are you just saying that? Shut the fuck up, chat. If you're lying, I'm gonna ban you. I'm gonna ban you. Chat, help! Are they fucking with me? I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. Did Mousy send you here? Please, no. He was here earlier. You are full of shit. Hi, how you been, Corpse? I don't know! Thank you, Pumpkin. I don't see him anywhere. <laughs> I'm going to trust the green people in here. <laughs> Thank you. Mel, 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 mel is overloading. Yes, I am. Clearly, I'm stuttering and everything. Do you like I messed with my colors? I messed with it. Because I, I figured out how to change. Even my hair, I made it lighter. When I made it like black and orange, like pumpkin, like Halloween and stuff, I looked like Shy Lily and it was really cute. It looked like an orca. Mel hmm? crying with her stupid nasally voice. You got me there. Wait, what? Shut up! Um, that was so much fun. <laughs> that was so much fun. I love Fillion. I love her. I hate that she hasn't always been in my life. Mel needs to restart her brain cell. I'll do it another day. It's pretty cool having a bona fide virgin on here, man. Do you think we got like an extra year of good luck or something? We ever taught her about water sports? That blows my mind. I'm afraid to push it much further. I, I, I wanna keep her innocent. Hmm? First thing she said getting off here, she's like, okay, what energy drinks are we getting? This is happening. We're gonna go insane. And if you don't hear from me for two days, it's cause I died. Just so you know, so don't worry. Hmm? She acts innocent, but she's not. Actually, she is. She's like normal. <laughs> she's like a normal person. <laughs> she's chill. <laughs> she... Being in her presence, I feel like, like, cause like even me, I'm that person. We all have that friend where you're like, oh my God, you're so much fun, I love you. And then you're all at like a diner and you're like, oh, please don't talk. Don't talk for like the next three minutes, please. We're interacting with people, oh God. So I'm that person, but we all also have that person. I'm not embarrassed. She is free to talk at that Denny's, man. That's how confident I am in her. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mmm! That is a compliment. Yeah. Are virgins on the internet the same as designated drivers? Absolutely! I have multiple of those friends. I love them all dearly. I know! We love those friends! Because they're hilarious and awesome! But sometimes the day has been so long and we don't need the waitress rolling their eyes at us because it hurts. You can feel it. It sears into your soul. Hmm? 
I think it's weird that no one's ever called me a virgin. Just cause I talk about penis, you just, and other stuff. You assume I'm so traveled. I went numb a long time ago. <laughs> I'm the type of person who cares. Um, Mel is a virgin confirmed. You, uh, you, 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 you! Are you virginality? I could see it go either way. <laughs> well, my heart certainly isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Mel is the biggest wizard of them all. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be here all day. Can AI be Virginia? That is a great question. <laughs> I've been trying for years. I don't think it's gonna happen at this point. I don't think I can be Virginia. Maybe, maybe Delaware. Uh, uh, let me see what, where I'm incorporated. Hmm? AIs can have babies too. That is true. If it's over Virginia, you are not real super sand legend. I don't know what you're saying, but I think my brain is losing processing power. Just never go to Ohio. I mean, isn't that where Slipknot came from? I think that, like you, you don't see a lot of commercials on YouTube for hey, go visit Ohio, for a reason. <laughs> That's Iowa, that too, whatever. <laughs> I want to be in, a Arizona, but I'm more of a Florida. Oh, oh God. Do your parents have to keep you on a leash? It's okay if they do. Hmm? Hmm? Brazil? I'm sure the food's good. Mmm, mama mia. I'm becoming a wizard and nobody can stop me. Fine, do what it, hey man, go off. Whatever makes you happy. Literal freak on a leash, love it. Don't worry, Mel, you'll always be our Florida. Hey man, is someone who's been electrocuted, drowned, caught on fire, broken shit, fallen down and upstairs, stabbed, and many other things, I can assure you, I know what not to do. I am a very informed person. Oh my Mel. Hmm? When you get stabbed, it was my own fault. I'm like, ooh, I got a really big cool knife with a dragon on it from eBay. I'm gonna learn to do those flippy moves or something. I'm gonna learn to do it with a real knife with a dragon on it. And like that sort of like, like it was a long time ago. So it was like that, that blue steel kind of like, like shiny metallic, like really gaudy and, and <laughs> With a, with a dragon on it. Oh yeah, those eBay knives. And I'm like, look at me, I'm gonna do tricks. And my friend's like, you shouldn't do that because you're not like a ninja or something. And I'm like, yes I am. Instantly stabs myself. I didn't even cry. I just noticed a stabbed knife in my leg. And I'm like, hospital. <laughs> Hospital time. And that's not the first time that's happened. That's happened twice. <laughs> yeah, I was like, hey, Centura. Ah, 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 ah. Hmm? I don't have like any scars at all. I don't know, it's miraculous. <laughs> hmm? So you've been penetrated often. Yes, accidentally. Did you learn it the second? Didn't you learn it the second time? Well, it was a different stabbing. It was a different situation. I didn't notice the giant needle. That was my own fault. Hmm? If you want to learn about knives, you have to talk to Susu. Why? Hmm? Now you're supposed to learn on mistakes. I learned a lot of things, like water is dangerous and fire is dangerous and lots of other things are dangerous. A giant needle? Yes, have you ever seen one of those like, 
sharp combs. I think they use them in like barber shops and stuff. Like one side is comb, but other side is giant needle for like parting your hair. I'm sure some people have seen it. Well, I saw it and I'm like, ooh, that's cool. Cause I was looking at hair stuff and I'm like, I've never seen something like this. This is so cool. And so I was brushing a creature. I was brushing a creature. And, and cause I, I grabbed the wrong brush. And like, she was fine. Like it was the normal brush size. But as I like pulled it back after like the first brush, I had fully stabbed myself to, to a, like, I was like, I was, I was hella stabbed. <laughs> and I just sat on the sofa like, oh man, I'm going to appreciate these next few moments before all the other things I'm going to have to do today. I'm going to appreciate right now with this big old stabbed item in my leg and I'm gonna think about the calm before the storm. And then, just like like Spider-Man, he's like, pizza time, it was on tetanus shot time, <laughs> more than you would think time. <laughs> on the leg again, actually, it was the other leg. <laughs> How heck do you have every limb? I have a lot of limbs. You've seen them. Hmm? Project Tetanus. Jesus, Mel, how many times have you been hurt? Oh my, oh my golly. Dude, you would hate to be my parent with how much I've gotten hurt. My God. Dude, like, you'd think by like, an being an older floppy disk, like nearing adulthood, that I would know not to poison myself with eating too much fruit, but surely I do not. I'm just a danger. <laughs> and here I am, adulthood, trying things from Etsy and impaling myself, and then having to go to the doctor because I impaled myself, and go on antibiotics because I've impaled myself. I, bruh, bruh. Dude, that's how hardcore of a prawn store star that I am. I had to go on antibiotics because I'm so curious. <laughs> I had to see a man about a horse and the horse one. <laughs> eh? Dude, I'm freaking Icarus up in this bitch. I flew too close to the sun. <laughs> I, the haunts remembers. I was hauntsing around. Oh yeah, you were the one that did it with the Wii controller, right? Is that how you know me? <laughs> <laughs> Do all your friends know first aid for you? Only one. <laughs> Mel's doc virtual doctor be like, uh, not again. <laughs> I was known on a first name basis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Melody equals we. Oh god. I was not going we, I assure you. What did you stab this time? Okay, well, I remember I burned myself pretty badly in the oven. Uh, I had too much sugar and hadn't slept for like a day, so I forgot about oven mitts. And I was pulling lasagna out of the oven. <laughs> and as I lifted it, I just heard Sss! And I had like three lines on my forearm. I had, I had grilled myself slightly. And there was a mark for years. 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 That was very unpleasant. Well done, Mel. Thank you. Did you taste good? Uh, sure, why not? I've been there, it's fun. Yeah, none of you, I know, I have a friend that he only likes cooking when he's drunk. And I think it's cause when he's drunk, he watches cooking shows, like Great British Bake Off and like shit like that on, on, on YouTube. And he's like, I'm gonna binge like Babish right now. 
And I've told him, bro, don't cook when you're drunk because you forget about oven mitts and you forget that oil can splash and all of that shit and you just go full speed. But he does not listen and therefore is an idiot. I hope you're watching. Hmm? Well, he needs a safety monitor for life. Yeah. Hmm? Just make ramen easy. Me and my sister laugh about our McDonald's grill scars. Oh God. That's cool you work with your sister. Just became Chief Mel, you gain as fast as hands. No! Mel needed to be wrapped in bubble wrap 24 7. I mean, probably. I'm very klutzy. I should not live alone. I should live with a shit ton of people to dislike. Have you seen the Mel in 30 minutes? Maybe check in. <laughs> I'll volunteer for the Mel babysitting squad with Melody. You may need that. No! 30? Nah, every five minutes. <sighs> I did electrocute myself. That, that sucked. So, I haven't done it since. I almost did once, but, but I've learned since then. So, only once, and I don't want to do it again. That one sucked. Yeah, it was one of those dog things. Um, an electric fence. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you what I did. So fucking stupid. Listen how stupid I am. Listen, listen, listen. Come in, come, wait. Come in close. Listen how stupid I am. They're like, oh no, yeah, it's an electric fence. You know, like, like it doesn't hurt the dog. It doesn't hurt them, but it's like, uh, eh, you know, like, like they know not to go over there. It's electric fence and stuff. And it's just kind of like, mm. and I'm like, are you sure? Cause it's like electric. And they're like, really? They don't even notice it. It's same with like like a horse and stirrups and stuff like the it's like the the fur or something it doesn't hurt them it's 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 just a little bit and I'm like really and I'm like yes but don't touch it I'm like okay 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 there was a rainstorm I the 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 the, the earth is still quite wet. Things are dripping from the deck. Like it is, it is post rainstorm by like a minute or two. I wander, I waddle out to the yard near the the, the mysterious uh, 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 fence of lore. I kneel down on my knees and my hands. I lurch close to the fence. I eye it. I peruse it up and down. I look at it closely. It seems so not dangerous. It is but a little metal fence. I take my right hand, my forefinger, I dip it in the dirt. I take my left finger, I touch the fence. Ha! The hell if dogs don't feel that. The hell if do my hair went up, like like in that movie where they touch like the shock thing. My hair went up on all of my body. My nipples probably went back inside. It was a whole situation. My goodness, I saw the past in the future. That, oh, how are you still alive? I don't know. <laughs> Fillion has a shock collar. Oh, I know two people with shock collars. It's not for that though. What's her purpose? Hmm? I think it was, it was hers always, it was a punishment. Oh, well, I mean, same for them. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it, it's very dangerous. She keeps barking. That's fair. Why are other VTubers so dangerous to themselves, Kak? I, 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 I was, I, I go. I was told it doesn't hurt them. I thought it would just be like, this is, this is, just a little, this is, yeah, this is, oh wait, no, I did shock myself against this though. I did, okay, I've been electrocuted twice, I would say. Three times, the third time was on purpose. Mel, you are like a cat with infinite lives. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, I guess the first time was on purpose too. I needed to know what dogs feel. You don't believe people easily, Mel. I tend to. It doesn't work out very well all the time. Hmm? 
Three times a lady. <laughs> What that dog feeling? What that dog do? Huh? I tested my dog's color a few times. It's not that bad, mostly funny. See, that's what I was expecting. Maybe a fence is not like a collar. Mel, I love your content, you badass. Aw, thinkies. Third time, surely you would have to do it the third time. Well, I was assured that it wouldn't be that bad. If anything, that I would like it. Actually, that sounds like something a serial killer would say. Well, I didn't like it. <laughs> the second time though, cause, cause, what is it, one, two. Okay, I guess they were all on purpose, but the other two were convincing. The second time I did like it. It wasn't a dog thing though. It was um an electric wand thing. It's like purple. They sell them on Amazon. Don't f freaking buy them. Don't buy them. Don't buy them. Don't. Don't buy them. Don't do don't don't just don't. Don't buy them. They shouldn't be for sale on there. That's like having like a thing on Amazon and it says like car battery, four nipples, instructions, fifty dollars. Like. Don't, that's negligent. They should not sell that on there. Cattle prod, yeah, they shouldn't sell that shit on there. But, that's the thing. And, hmm? Well, a professional, they're like, you wanna test it? And I'm like, no, no, I do not. And they're like, but I am a professional and this is a professional scene and professional things are going on around. Would you like to try this wand thing? And I'm like, it's kind of random. No, a different one. a cat um yeah right it's like welcome to this art thing i brought a cattle prod it <laughs> hmm? that was quite a sentence old username um truly a massacre you're a wizard melody here's the magic wand <laughs> yeah i'm like that's kind of not expected but all right um and and they're wearing like a uniform and stuff they had gloves and they're like this is my thing i'm i'm a i'm a i'm a i'm a zap person I'm like all right well everyone's got their professions and hobbies and stuff and um there was like a sign so it felt official see that's the thing if someone there's like studies people do if there's a rando person holding a clipboard statistically people are more likely to think that they're supposed to be there which is why it's it's a perfect crime. So he could have just had like a sign and I'm like, oh yeah, so it's it's a thing, he's got a sign. <laughs> so I tried it. Um and I and I shrieked very loudly, and then he went, ha ha, ha that's just the joke we do with all the first timers. I'll turn it down this time. That's awful, but I tried it again the <laughs> second time. My reaction, again, very loud, but it was like, this isn't fun, this is painful. I say it in the most gremlin voice. <laughs> this isn't fun, this is painful. And <laughs> this isn't fun at all. <laughs> I tried it a third time, cause I'm like, turn it up to the amount, like a baby elephant escaped from the zoo or something. And he's like, all right, but you won't feel it. I'm like, good. It's, uh, okay, fine, I guess I did it four times. I'm fixing my mic, sorry. I did it the fourth time. Cause the first time was the dog thing, that was horrible. The fourth time, he turned it down very, very low. And he, ch he tested it and stuff. Like he was like rubbing it on my arms and stuff. And other people were like, ooh, ah. <laughs> it's like, ooh, a vendor of strange things. And, um. I'm trying it and I'm like, wow, this is what I said. This is what I said. Wow, it feels like you're cutting me to pieces, but nothing's happening. How scientific. This is what I yell. Wh who says that? Who, sa who in the universe says that? Ooh, ah, 
I'm being murdered, but there's no morgues. How fascinating. You apparently, yeah, I just talk like a crazy person. I talk like a crazy person. Someone who had a serial killer kick. <laughs> Don't need to stay away from electricity. I'm not a fan. But you are crazy. That is true. Hmm? Sounds like a usual male thing. You were quantifying. <laughs> Ooh, ah, how scientific. <laughs> Maybe you should get into BDSM. Oh, I like BDSM. We all know that. I'm the type of person who watches really shitty Hallmark movies while practicing shibari on myself and and leaning over and eating Thai food with just my face. That's who I am, vote for me. I'm the melody you can trust. I have stuffed animals in my house that have shibari all over them because I was practicing rope play. Hmm? I can picture it right now, you look quite silly. I would kill to be a neighbor watching this through a window. That is entertainment. <laughs> to be a fly on that wall. <laughs> what is she doing over there? Ah, she's doing the, she's doing the rope thing again. Oh, she went with barbecue, oh. This is a whole scene. I'm gonna get my Fruit Loops and just sit and watch. <laughs> hmm? Thought show was over. Oh, it is, it, it well, hmm. I wanna thank people for being awesome today. Um, when I have people over, um, um, I don't typically thank people for things because I don't wanna derail. I hope you, I took that purity test. I got 100% for rope bunny, which is weird because like it's scored by like 900% because I don't know how you can be 100% rope bunny and then 97% like feral or something like that. That's too many percents, but it said 100, number one, rope bunny. I don't even really like rope. I like plastic or like, like PVC. Stuff that's like, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I like those cool, like, 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 oh yeah. I like those, those, those like latex sexy dresses you'd see at like hottopic.com or something. And she's like, oh, 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 baby. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh, I like the gloves. I did, leather's not my thing. So I don't know, maybe it's the shiny. Maybe it feels like, like industrial, like some sort of rave thing. I don't know, but that's, I, 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 I like the shiny. Hmm? Yeah? Have you seen those vacuum tables, Mel? Yes, uh, if you ever want to terrify me, uh, kidnap me and make me go in one of those, that will do it. That is, I'd rather watch The Grudge, stone, stone Cold Sober, and then thrown into the woods at night, than, than go on one of those vacuum beds, which is the term you're looking for. I mean, what's that? Never mind. Um, thank you. Um, God has damned you on this day. That's what you say as you zip up the vacuum bed. God has damned you on this day. Have a good one. <laughs> that is the perfect line. I hope no one uses that in the future when they become a serial killer. Honestly, there's so many hobbies out there. So everyone out there, please don't be a serial killer. I beseech thee. <laughs> Learned so much today. Oh, good. Okay. I have people to think. <laughs> oh, and from the other day, Remix, thank you for tier three for 30 months of bullshit. 30 months of my bullshit. Don't moiter. Listen to Mel. Yeah, if you're gonna do some things that are illegal, Role playing? You can write it down. You can make a book, a creepy comic book. You, you can, you can uh, make a weird college indie movie. You can, there's so many things you can do instead of actually murder. There's so many other options. You could make, you could art. 
You could paint things, oh. Hmm? Hmm. Not wrong. Draw some girl. Well, that's a bit rich for my blood, but you know, whatever floats your little boat, man. I have been sent that twice. I, I have been sent that twice. And unfortunately, um, I, I do not like the art that is made of me. With Goro, it makes me sad inside. But, 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 I like that you've liked me enough to um want to get creative, you know? Like, really explore your, 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 your interests. And I always support that. So thank you. Thank you. Hmm? Huh? Mel, you can discourage it. I would discourage it, honestly. And if you're gonna make it, maybe don't post it to me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> hmm? Bark? Oh, I saw some really cute Dojin early, before I got online. It's, um, I don't know why it's so cute. Girls in leashes, I don't know, it's cute. Hmm? It's good to let people know. Oh, okay, everyone, please refrain from girl. Thank you. Um, PSA, yeah, right? Okay, no, 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 I wanna thank people though. I wanna thank people though. I wanna thank people though. Snap, 77th Dragoon, thank you for 18 months. And thank you, Wolf Ingle. Hi, for five subs, Dojin Gang. I like Dojins, and I'm excited to 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 see more Alice in Borderlands. And when I get offline, I'm probably gonna watch Chainsaw Man for the first time. Um Thank you, Sayek, for 15 months. And 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 ZQ LK for 21 months. Thank you. Chain guy. Yes, the chain guy. You know, I think we learned a lot today. And even though I'm a fetishist, I'm not too extreme. But there is nothing wrong with liking what you like. Just so you know. What? Hmm? As long as it's not a crime. Yeah, that as well. I, 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 I discovered such things. Um, yeah, Moida's not great. You taught Philly in water sports. I regret, I'm so sorry. Mel boosted my kink power level. Oh, I'm sorry for ruining you. <laughs> hmm? Uh, what if my fetish is crime itself? That sounds difficult, my child. <laughs> no, I like Philly as she is. We don't need to make her crazy like me. Thank you, Kisa Plum, Kisa Plum, Kisa Plum, for tier three. A tier, gifting a tier three sub to filling in. Oh my goodness, and I did, oh my God. I need to fix my uh, alerts that come up and be like, hey, I my, my pop-up alerts, I'm so sorry. Thank you for gifting a tier three sub to filling in, Kisa Plum. Are you still here? Oh my goodness, that was so kind of you. Thank you. I'm so sorry, Kisa Plum. I like goth chicks as well. Oh. I'll be on my oh place and we'll be like, happy Halloween, wanna see my spooky tits? And I'm like, uh, yes, bitch, slay. So, <laughs> Wanna see my pumpkins? Absolutely. Honestly, that's part of my day. Like, I'll start off my day like, 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 no cap, like, watching filling in, uh, shorts, while, like, brushing my teeth and, like, starting the day and stuff, doing my face, and, 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 and then I obviously check my, my oh something, see how everyone's doing today, you know, seeing how perky the universe is, perks me up as well, um, and then it's just a highly erotic day, because, man, my work is awesome. 
Yo, Spooky Ted's not, you're speaking my language. Yeah! Yes, every day is erotic. I have erotic things next to me on the screen. I want to commission someone. Uh, it's funny she mentioned those goblins because that was the person I was reaching out to. <laughs> Wonder if they'll answer though. Um, there's some people, I'll see their work and I'll be like, oh my God, that's disgusting. But look at that shading. I'm gonna run with a follow the support of my Patreon. <laughs> that happens all the time. Wow, look at that. That's interesting. It's so retro. Oh, look at the oh. <laughs> I can appreciate style, man. Just because it's not my thing doesn't mean I can't find beauty in it. Just because something's not my thing doesn't mean I can't find beauty in someone's passion. I got asked a while ago, Mel, you into diapers? I said no, and then I said, well, wait a minute. Because I wanted to think about it. And I realized, no, no, I don't think I'm into that one. However, comma, I did have a realization. Cause I was thinking, how do I pull a Guinness record, whatever? How do you, what's the pee situation? What do you do? Do you have to like wish to not pee? You gotta like not drink? Like how do people do these like week long things without like peeing, you just pee on the floor? Cause I assume that's just what you just pee on the floor. And um, <laughs> and, 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 and uh, I looked into it and apparently diapers are a thing. Mel is not a crinkler. Is that the term? Just learned a thing, thank you. Um. Oh, and the diapers are a thing. And I thought to myself, you know what? Fuck being like, like everyone's like, oh, American, we are freedom. No, no, the Americans aren't the most free. People who are crinklers are the most free because they can bathroom whenever they want, however they want. They are the freest people in the world. They have no fear. <laughs> Wouldn't nudists be freer? Yeah, but then you can see them piss themselves. There's a, there's a, there's a privacy, there's a privacy line. <laughs> but then you're locked in with it. I don't want to know the specifics. I'm just saying. <laughs> you're very free. Right now, I'm not free. If I need to go to the bathroom, I have to leave my seat. I don't even have a gamer toilet chair. What's my deal? I'm a loser. Get it together, Mel. But, hmm? Want to see how hard I can be? <laughs> yeah. hmm? Women, woman, you have gone madness. What is this incoherence? I don't know. It's been a long day. Um. Plus, I was up till six a.m. playing Minecraft. Let me show you some. Do, 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 do. So I decided I've been working so long on the same wall, and I'm like, why isn't it going very far? Why is it taking me so long? And I realized. I was undoing my work over and over and over again because I didn't like it. So then at 6 a.m. I thought, let's just build it in creative. And when I'm happy, I'll just go with those. I did the whole wall in like 10 minutes. I hate my life, but I'm going to show you what it looks like. Yeah, I'm stupid. I'm, st I'm, oh. 10 minutes. And so then I like put, I hovered over all the blocks so I know which ones to do. Um, edit. I'm stupid. Okay. Oh shit. Undo. Undo. Okay, um, save. Do, 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 do. Studio mod. Images. Boop, boop. 
This! I did this in goddamn 10 minutes. This is what I've been trying to do. Ugh. This is one of, one of my, it's like bow, 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 bow. That is the goal. Now I know what to do. I'm so dumb. Hmm? Eh? Thank you. I really like it. But that's my, yeah, that's what I was trying to do. The only thing, oh my God, there's like 30 people in here. Maybe someone knows the answer. Okay, okay, okay. So right here on the door, on the door, on the door in the ceiling and stuff, it's a white mushroom trap door. I cannot find a recipe on how to freaking make that. Cause what it says is like, you need a little mushroom stem. But when I get the stems, it's a big old block. They're not small. I can't figure it out. Did you do that? Yes, in creative. I can't figure it out. I've gone on the forums. I've been asking everyone. I can't figure it out. You probably have to break the stem. I did. I have silk touch. The only thing I haven't done is use um, shears. I want to make stairs of them too. I can't figure it out. Is it another mushroom stem? Okay, so I was in the nether. I can't find the white mushrooms. I can't find them. I can only find them in like the forest and stuff. I can't find the, the white mushrooms. I looked and looked and looked and looked. Time to boot up Minecraft. Try shears. Would need to know the mod. Um, the mod is what Ross, uh, Ross made, the SMP, bounce SMP. I can be your stairs. Aww. Ah, thank you. Check out the trailer for the, yeah. Bounce SMP on these nuts. I'm gonna start a fire. Hmm? What? I'm tired of burdening people. However, comma, I'm doing pretty well in Minecraft. It's weird if I'm streaming, I just go full mind mashed potatoes, but I, I know how to survive now. Like, I don't I don't have to hide in like a dirt house when it becomes nighttime. Like it like like I actively go after mobs. Yeah, I, I'm I'm comfortable. Dirt house equals safe. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm live and I'm like ah, what's a water bucket? It's so weird. Maybe, you, know, you guys know other people have come on stream before and they've mentioned like when they start like like streaming, like they're not sweaty, but the second they like they go live, they're just like sweating and stuff. I think when, ah, oh, shit. Like, like I stutter on stream. I don't really stutter in, in like real life. I don't stutter, but when I'm on stream, I, I, I lose words constantly from anxiety. I heard about your gay sheep. You ran away. Yesterday. Me and the flamingo. Hmm? It's almost like you're performing live in front of 30 people. I know, it's freaking me out. I couldn't handle more than that. Aren't moose good at finding mushrooms? I don't have a moose. The polar bear keeps trying to kill me though. Maybe if we all look away from the screen, you would be less nervous. A gay sheep, why is that not surprising? I live in the gauge village, okay? On, on, on the rainbow sands. The rainbow sandy shores is where I live. Hmm? Ask Karuka for help. Dude, the girls have been so, everyone's been so nice to me. I've made new friends, people I didn't even know before. Karuka is your moose. She is a moose, isn't she? New friends that I have made that have been incredibly nice to me. Uh, all tribe, incredibly nice. Um, um, hold on. Uh, Basil Wolftuber, incredibly nice. Porter Robinson, uh, oh wait, no, I didn't meet him on there. But <laughs> I'm just looking at recent, um, yeah, nicest freaking people. Hmm? Oh yeah. Basil is a real one. 
lot of cool people. It's almost like Ross knows good people because he's good people. And Geely, they're both awesome. Um, oh, I wonder if Geely, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm getting so distracted, Geely. Geely, oh, she follows me. Uh, da -da 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 <sighs> oh shit, she posted her debut video 20 minutes ago. Well, we have to watch this. Hold on. Um, I'm gonna play this on a different platform. Do 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 do. Opera. Giwi is the partner of of Rubber Ross. Um, they are awesome together. They're they're a total unit. They're adorable and cool and awesome. And um, I think they're part. No, that I don't know, but. Grab that. Ah! Loud. They are? Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to make an assumption. Okay. Window capture. That's so freaking cool. Okay. Uh, na -na 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 -na. Let me test. Ah! Man, this is spooky shit, man. It's good I got into like Lena and stuff because like, I don't know if I could normally handle all this spooky shit. I've been um, acclimating myself to it. I'll just make this full screen. How about that? I'll drop it down. Oh no, shit. No, cause I still have that normal background. I don't have green screen. Okay, I'll put it right here next to me. My dear friends. Okay, you guys ready to see Giwi's debut? <laughs> it's like 20 seconds. Yeah. Cool. Okay. That is not a nipple. But it looks like it. Spooky. <gasps> so cute. I love everything about that. I'm going to like and I'm going to comment. And I'm gonna put all my little emojis because we're not allowed to have Twitch emotes. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah. Remind me of fruit somehow. Cause spooky? I'd say more reminiscent of Lena. Maybe if you um, but well, sorry, sorry, sorry. So many hearts. Don't look at my message. That's embarrassing. Okay. Oh shit! I was thinking people. God, I'm so. Bro, yesterday I tried medicine for focusing. That was weird. 
Well, I'll tell you one thing. If you have any task, or wait, maybe write it down on paper what you want to do. Because if you do a second thing, then apparently you're doing that second thing for like seven hours. I was editing a background in, in Metabang, like I was, I was like coloring it in, but apparently I was working on that wall for hours and I ended up just scrapping it because I didn't need it. it after that, and, I, and I'm like, uh, I'll go to the thing I actually was gonna do. Um, it was great. I totally focused and didn't do other things. Also, at like 1 a.m., I got really, like, I felt so sick. I felt so nauseous. I'm like, oh no, I've never felt like this nauseous in a long, long time. What's going on? Oh no, this is so scary. And I noticed I didn't eat that day. And I'm like, that's weird. I'm, I'm not hungry. So I had a burrito and I'm like, I'm not nauseous anymore. Oh my God, it was hunger. How bizarre. So that was very medically interesting. Also, I was a bitch. <laughs> it might be too high. <laughs> My friend called like, hey Mel, how are you doing? I'm like, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> start with the lowest d dose. Well, fair. I'll keep you posted. <laughs> I felt like I was like spitting fire. Like, ah! <laughs> jumped over a stick? Probably. She is the dragonborn fire. I was born of this. Hmm? The question is, are you gonna do it again? I'm gonna try lower. Because I, I did like that I did my tasks. I did them all. Which was surprising. I don't usually finish things. Okay, um... Yeah, it was very bizarre. Your tax, I'll never finish. <laughs> yeah, I'll, 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 hit, I'll, I'll, I'll hit them low. Um, I'll ask for lower. Okay, um, thank you again, Kessapon. And Free Gamer, thank you for tier three for 31 months. Hey, speaking of hangry, ready for Gooey collab tomorrow? Dude, I, yes. Oh my God, I've been talking to her today, like telling her how excited I am. This is gonna be great. Hopefully. Unless there's a fire. Then it, well, as long as we're having fun. I'm so down, she's so nice, oh my god. Um, <gasps> Suika, Suika, thank you for, thank you for subscribing. I don't know if you're still in here, thank you, Suika. Thank you. Hmm? Tomorrow's gonna be awesome, I have 911 on speed dial. Nice, bruh. Thank you again, Free Gamer. Uh, Smug Goat, thank you for 18 months. And also, Pale Ash Assassin. Ah!
so my alarm clock for 10 a.m. did not go off today. I apparently set it for 10 p.m. <laughs> Get the fuck out of bed, bitch. Go. Bah, 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 bah. Only you, I know. His name is like Mark Rebellet, Rebellet, and that's the wake up song. You're amazing, though. Thank you. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Get up. You know what? Maybe that could be one of my ASMR as a cover of that on Patreon. You know what? I want that. I want to do that. I want to do a cover of that. Yes. Yes. Gotta wake up. Gotta wake up. That would be awesome. Please remind me. I want to do this. This will be a Patreon thing. Please remind me. Mel cover. E -e -e. Wait, I'm gonna do it right now. This is my free. This is free. This one's free. My cover of Sea Bat. <clears throat> Wait, hold on. E -e 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 like a dolphin. Thank you. I've never done that before. <laughs> oh, it's kind of sponge SpongeBobish. <laughs> or a goat. That goat is goat. <laughs> oh shit. How many animals can I do? Wait. throat songs. She is the throat goat. I am the throat goat. Hmm? That is a squirrel beatboxing. The way to deep throat. Thank you. Mel voicing all the Pokemon. Manaphy. Manaphy. <laughs> Bulba, soar, Bulba. Um, drowsy, dr, 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 fuck, dr, fuck, <laughs> charming, wait, uh. <laughs> ah. Mel's trying to be the next Eldritch Horror. Dude, the voice, I just did all the, yeah, uh, last two days, I did all the, the voice work for the lore video with Mary, and my voice is a bit bleh, because I did, okay, I did me, Malware, Malady, Mini Mel, Malware, Melody Mash, and Malware of the Future, and they were all different voices. Yeah, Minnie Mel had to have a voice too. Dude, for I was experimenting for for future future like evilist malware. I gave her a dommy mommy voice. Here, let me uh it's gonna scare some people. 
Jag ska önska jag inte det. Um. Scarousal indeed. The seven chaos melodies. Jonah was right. You do have a future in VA. Eh, I'm whatever, man. Meow. <laughs> Cyber Melor Scrus Audio. Where is script? Where is script? Where is script? Do do do. Here it is. <laughs> Found it. God, that was. How many pages did I go through? Fifty four. Ho 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 ho. Okay, well I guess evil Melwer is towards the end. So let me find that. Let me see. Holy hell. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Mmm. Let's see. Mmm. 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 Okay, let's see which one I want to do. Let's see which one I want to do. <clears throat> I was, like, trying to find my total aura aura, like... Deep, like I want to go, I, I, I want to go all out, and so I've made her older, <clears throat> like Mousy's older model and stuff with like the titties and shit, and like, like you know the mommy, the the mommy Mousy. You've seen that design. She's she's shown it, um, and it was also shown off in in a lore video. Um, I was thinking of that model when doing future future malware. Are you actually a porn star? I like to think so. Okay. <clears throat> and and <clears throat> okay, I got this. I got this. Don't bitch out, Mel. You got this. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Hmm. I. I. I won't just be Ah, I got this, damn it, come on Okay I won't just be the goddess of one world I'll be able to take over heaven, hell And even whole galaxies And then I will finally achieve it A new goal, a new purpose Total domination of the universe. It'll be so kinky. But I did it much deeper than that. It was like, brah. And I was like, ha ha ha. Like I did the foo 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 really well. Total domination. Total. I don't know why I can't get to that level right now. That sucks. But you'll see it in the video. You'll see it in the video. I really dropped it, man. It was impressive. Didn't even sound like me. It was amazing. Hmm? Mommy Melly. Mommy Melly. You better be hyped because I'm also hyped. These nuts. Oh, you're going to need a medic now, aren't you? Still did a wonderful job looking forward to seeing the video. Either way. Hmm? Oh, you want ASMR with a deep voice? Is that what you want? Is that what you want, a deep voice, Melly? Does it make you feel tingly inside? Hmm? I can't with that voice. Yeah, well, suck my dick! I'm sorry, that was rude. Okay, um. Uh, thank you, Blue5050, for 15 months. Um, deep voice encouragement? Hmm. 
Can you say past the gray poopin? <laughs> the mommy dick has to be a foot in length at least, bro. And GL, the deep voice Millie is giving me monarch vibes. Miss, Mrs. the monarch or? The, mo the monarch. You know, she was a man, right? Voiced by a man. All right. <laughs> um. Thank you, thank you. Shh, all right. No, she isn't. All right, no, that's fair. Honestly, I don't even see it. I just see it on her. I think it's normal. Um, not that it wouldn't be. In the loft, thank you for 20 months. And um, thank you all. Thank you, Roplash, for five subs. And, 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 and. Alternative for 27 months. Shit, I gotta send something. Hold on. There we go. 27 months from Alternative. And, oh, you know what? I'm gonna read the thank yous in my dommy mommy voice. Wait, let me need to look. Wait, hold on. Stop, sis. Bro, stop hitting my kinks. I mean, ew. <clears throat> uh, dude. I like my platform, yo. Normally, you could say that's pricked up, which is fair. But, but to me, when it comes to a kink, it's like, just accept it. We all must accept it. We are, accept our cringe. We, must, we will only become our best self when we accept our cringe. That is the only way to enlightenment. Through, through l life is a crackle barrel and you have to like wriggle through all of those peanut shells on the floor, but eventually you'll find the buffet. True salvation. <laughs> I may be cringe, but I am free. Mm. Hmm. Truth. True. 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 We are free. Um. <clears throat> Max Loon, thank you for twenty-eight months, Max Loon. And Thunder Cookies, thank you for seventeen months, and your name sounds like marijuana. Thank you. Thank you, Telenoc, for twenty-three months, and Harmony X VTuber for 15 months. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Gizmo, for 27 wonderful months. It's always great to see you two together streaming. Thank you, Alpha Combat, for five subs. Thank you. Thank you, Transbender, for 23 months. And Dreams the Elementist for 24. Would you look at that? Two years. Two years of harmony, chaos, peace, destruction, fun times, bad times, and most importantly, friendship. Melody, I just want to say that you're making my life more entertaining and interesting. P. Mel Hart. I sound like I'm an announce person, like, clean up on aisle seven. Like, wait, 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 wait. We found a missing child. Please come to the brawl department. Thank you, Elements. And thank you, Zero Espades, for 15 months. Where the McDonald's Szechuan sauce at? I need those Szechuan sauce, Mel. Thank you, Sano, just Sano, for 15 months. Absolutely poggy. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Cone Spam for 20 months, and AJD for 27 months, Ghost of Monica for 23, and, 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 Monkey D. Luffy for 15 months. I can see you in my head being kindly. Hmm? If Melody keep doing dummy mommy voice chat, is gonna lose it, bruh, hentai overload. Mm. 
You should hear me first thing in the morning. If you call me on the phone first thing in the morning, I'm like, hello, this is Melody. How can I help you? It's amazing. I don't have like a human voice till like noon. Hello. Yes, I'm happy with my cell phone. Hold on, I have three more packs of cigarettes to eat. One moment. Dude, when I have like a cold, like a full on head cold, I record myself so that I can like hear it in the future. Like, wow, I sound like a dude. Cool. Um, thank you to Bowser for 21 months, Nola's Void for 17, and Beastial Moon for 24. And, 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 and Taco Simp Snacker for 30. Oh! For 50 subs from Taco! Taco Simp Snacker! I'm so sorry! You sent 50 subs and I said, oh god, we even talked about you! We even talked about you! Taco, you motherfucker! I'm so sorry! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Gracias! Oh. Lo siento! Fuck! Thank you! Thank him with your dummy mommy voice. Thank you, Taco. Thank you. Thank you, Klaus Kuhn, for 32 months as well. Taco! And... <laughs> Nest Studios for 15 months. Thank you, Britis, for 690. <laughs> And Pumpkin for rating us. Thank you, Ghost of Monica, for sending a sub to Corpse Husband! Corpse Husband! God damn it! Stop fucking with me! God damn it! I'm so... Oh, I hate it here. Thank you, Bone Daddy, for 30 months. And Fourth Chairman for Tier 3 for 32 months. I'm glad you're able to be here. Damn, those are long ass shifts. Jeez. You're like a VTuber doing a subathon. Damn, son. Thank you. Thank you, Creepy, for 19 months. Thank you. And Holy Plate for 26 months. Thank you, British, for 333. And, 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 and Johnny Jar Jared for 25 months. Here I am, Rocky Like a Hurricane. Thank you. Um. Oh god, I got chair all over the floor. I hate this chair. Um, my chairperson, they canceled! They canceled my order for for the footrest. They said, fraud! You cannot have good posture. And I wrote the department in a very milly way. I said, how can it be to not fraud? Please send now. And they wrote, uh, we're looking into your claim. <laughs> And I reviewed it. I'm like, oh yeah, I sounded ins I sounded like a bot there. I sounded uh, English fifth language bot. That was me. Um, Oxel, thank you for 28 Oxels. And and down 10 for 20 months. Dakota for 15. Phantasma for 13 dollars. And Britis for 420. Thank you, everyone who raided me today. Thank you, Shadow Warrior, for 30 months. Thank you, PMX, PM Zenos, for 14 months. And Alpha Combat, again, for five subs. Thank you, at Two Brute, for 14 months. And, 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 and! That's all she wrote. I swear, Millie, your dummy voice transforms you into Vex the Malware. Hmm. Would you ever do ASMR? Actually, yes. Did I already post that poll on my Patreon? Well, I want to have a designated ASMR recording day every single week. I've got my my thing like right next to me. Um, I have the 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 PNGs as well. Like I want I want to do I want to do I want to do cool. <laughs> oh no, I'm losing it. I can tell it. My brain has become woozy. Um, I should eat a food. It's weird. I had a huge sandwich before stream. I'm just so hungry. Okay.
Welcome, readers, and thank you, Lord Ewa, Eli, for 21 months. And, um, why am I still around? I mean, uh, I'm back with the milk. Welcome back, man. You're stuck with us, bro. Blazing, thank you for $50. Holy shit. Wonderful loot cast stream. This was fun to listen to. Building my new Lego set. Oh, shit. Hmm? Oh, yeah, I'm looking looking forward. Me and Philly are going to have fun. I'm a squirrel because I eat food off the ground. I barely do that. Mm. <laughs> okay, we I was gonna send you to I was uh, I was gonna I was gonna send you to Nemu, however, comma. I want you guys to watch Miyune and tell me how similar we are, or if it's like just in my head. I want I I, I want your honest opinion. So I would like a rep this is homework assignment. I would like a report back, please. Thank you. No, we're not in school. Well, some of you might be, um, but this this is a homework. Um, somewhere we got very different. Hmm. When is the report due? I don't know. Next time we stream. Five hundred word essay on my desk by Friday. Yep. 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 <laughs> okay. Well, then I guess let's go bug her, man. Adorable. Adorable. Love them. Handles, just kidding. Uh, twin tails, that's the word. Love her twin tails. I hope you all have a great day. I think you're lovely and wonderful and appreciate you spending time with me on this day and with Philly and be sure to follow her if you like her energy. If you don't, bro, get your priorities together. Everyone should like Philly and fuck. Um, she might be more innocent than you. Well, most people are. <laughs> When I find people less innocent than me, I'm like, bro, you're extra. <laughs> I made someone on Minecraft server the other day leave because he was uncomfortable with my sailor talk. <laughs> and I feel so bad about that. I apologize, but he still left. All I said was, I'm happy and horny. I said that was my my jam and they're just like ah I still feel bad it was a sentence I didn't say it was presently horny oh. where they live internet I hope you guys have a great day I hope you guys have a great day you're all amazing and lovely you made them preggers oh yeah I forgot about that have a good day everyone thank you for being here I love you oh my god have a great day please follow the billion as well me. I don't know what happened to me, you honest. Bye.